Welcome back to Game of the Goons and a, another episode of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so last time we left our adventurers, they entered the dragon's lair um, underneath uh, underneath a small ice village. Um, they managed to find the the dragon's lair and Macaf, who told them about trapped icebergs. The trapped icebergs uh, containing, or well, one trapped iceberg, sorry containing a load of information um, of the Arcane's Brotherhood's workings, um, writings and documents um, which have some significance um, to portal creation um, and some other, other powerful arcane magic which they don't want the cult to get their hands on. So after making a quest to Queen Romalia and the Council of Waterdeep uh, for some, for three veterans and two mages, they went back to the surface, filled in bone cover, and have taken a long rest. So today, unfortunately, Gran and um, Rob are not here. We have got everyone else. So, hi, hello, um, and. Without further ado, let's get started. So you, said, um, what time of the day is it now? It's early morning. So we've just literally just yeah, woken yeah. Up. So okay. you, so as you um, wake up, you feel like the um, it's early morning. Sort of a few people have started to go out and fish. Mm -hmm. um, very early fishing morning, like fishing hours, way before breakfast. Um, but you feel. This is sort of a, a good time. It's very chilly in the air um, in this ice village. With the um, you can see sort of see the snow from the outside of your um, very fine snow from the outside um, from your entrance to your igloo. Okay. Um, um, and bone cover comes around in, followed in by three veterans uh -huh. and two mages from the council. Um, bone, bone cover says to says to the group, ah, they've they've arrived. Your, your request to the Queen has, has worked. You've got some people to help you. Okay. Um, I want to feed my... Uh, I want to feed mouse, mouse first. Go up to Mouse and say, this is going to be a very long battle, so just eat up. Feed Mouse. Yep. Uh, so as you feed Mouse, um, Ridicus looks at, looks at Mouse like, I want some food. Um, thinks about going to steal the food, and then Vanderin goes, "Oh no!" And then gets and feeds Ridicus himself. <laughs> Sephira doesn't need feeding because no, because she's so. a mechanical um, dragon. I think that Runespot will probably be just polishing her up a bit. Yeah, exactly. Get, getting her ready. Um, just just for the viewers' reference, um, I've got um, because I've got a fair number of NPCs to run this campaign, uh, this session. Sorry, um, Dan is taking a part of Runespark. Um, and I'll be taking over Fandarin. Uh Can I just go over to the warlock, uh, the, the majors and the uh, veterans? Yeah. And just ask them to take their uh, insignia out. Yep. Yeah, so they all pull their insignia out. Okay. Um, it's just the 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 reed with the bear slash owl creature looking back. Yeah. That's fine. Or is I was just making sure that they are actually people from, and not random people sent, not random people disguising us. Yeah, that's fair enough. Is there anything um, you monarch wants to do? Can I go up to them and basically introducing myself, saying that, "Hi, I'm Eumonic. Nice to meet you all." Um, yep. So you go up to up to them, um, greet them. They just sort of grunt back. They don't really say too much. It's like, oh, nice to meet you. We're here to help. Um, and, uh, the maid. I... Sorry. And then, okay, go on. The you say. Uh, the, the maid is a bit more um, a bit more well spoken, and like, oh well, we'll we'll do our best in support and healing. Do you know what this mission is about? 
we we're here to help kill a dragon and get some uh, items back or something to to help form an alliance with uh, the arcane brotherhood okay and then can i kind of more focus on those two men just asking so duty what can you do we can actually but actually can i just that question is more in general to everyone right in in that group just like what can everyone do what's your strength Oh, so, so the veterans say, oh, well, we're, we're proficient either up close or um, or, or from a distance. Up and, close with a dragon. Well, yeah. M Murren's just, <laughs> he, he seems unimpressed by the ability to fight in close quarters with a dragon. <laughs> and um, the, the mages are like, well, we're support, we shouldn't be up close with a dragon, but we can support with a bit extra firepower or or more healing buffs depends what you need so you two more like an attacking type um so the veterans are more attacking types and the majors are more um they're, the they're kind of mixed they're kind of mixed so they what, can... what are the veterans wearing what sort of armor are they um so the veterans are wearing let's check in my notes so they're wearing like chain shirts um it's it's decent armor, like it's decent armor and makes them pretty sturdy, and pretty hard to hit. Um, obviously, if you do fight a big creature, it's and then comes with its own danger. Ask, can I ask the next question? Is like, okay, so what kind of spell you guys can do? Well, we've got just give me the, the fireball. Main, you have to go list all of them, just like the main you are you are going to use. Um, so they got like fireball, invisibility, uh, misty step. They have. He just basically lists a couple that he's got. Um, he also says that they have. Um, ice storm, cone of cold, um, and I got counter spell as well. Do you guys, do you happen to know any? Any sleep spell or blind or any things like that? They don't. They the closest one to know is probably suggestion, but that's sort of the only thing that they I'm can. Just going to repeat that ice storm yes. against a white dragon would probably be quite ineffective. I I, I would advise against trying to use them. They would know that that and they're kind of cold is not the greatest so they've haven't got that many more spells <laughs> that they know um they've got a couple that will be effective though and they'll try to use them as much as they can okay. is what they assure um assure man okay in that case can i gather everyone around just basically have a yep so you, so you monarch gathers um everyone around and and sets up for a ad hoc meeting in the igloo it's now very crowded in here how many people just wondering so now you've got you've like totally. one, two, three, four, five. got the five party members plus the five yeah NPCs. so you've got ten MPs, like ten people in this igloo and do we along have along with pets how, yeah Saf um, Safira Safira would have been mouse. left outside yeah, Safira would be outside Mouse Mouse would be inside and um, Riddicus would Riddicus. be inside um, the you might not dragon would have to fit outside. Yeah. Could not, could not fit him. <laughs> but there is quite a few <laughs> creatures about. <laughs> I think Murren would just take a quick look outside just to see if there was anyone who was keep like watching the igloo with any amount of suspicion. I think just to uh, make sure we weren't being observed. Make a perception check. Uh, Twelve. Yeah, that's enough. Um, there's generally it seems to be the people outside um, are fishing. There doesn't seem to be anyone suspicious walking about. Um, it would be quite noticeable this early in the morning um, if the, the only people out are the people that are fishing. And there's no like none and of the no, ice toads or whatever they're called. Um, they don't seem to be out at the moment. 
Okay then. So uh, I'm gonna go as Wong uh, as um Eumonic uh, gathers yeah. the group. Um, I'm just gonna jump in there and start first and just say this is gonna be a very dangerous battle that we're all entering. We're fighting against a dragon, especially that is a white dragon and um, I think most of, some of us may know it is that it's down in the frozen caves. It's gonna be using ice. Just look out for each other and take care of each other. Remember, we're doing this just to, to get the alliance between the Brotherhood and uh, the Kingdom. Fanon would um, add on to your point and just say, yeah, he agrees with everything you said. Um, you are in its favoured terrain, so be very careful. Um, but a lot, an alliance, the right alliance, can help hugely, especially if they want to stop the cult. And then at this point, I just, sh I just, I just sheath my sword and I shout out, FOR HONOR! And then that's when I start. I use heroic inspiration. Yeah. And give my heroic inspiration onto um, Eumonic. Okay, so Eumonic's got. How, um, how long does that last? Uh, it doesn't say. I just lost. I did the next. I probably long one rest. Day. I think. Yeah, well, I, I says I can use them. It's basically a bardic inspiration. So you, you get to roll a d6. Um, you can basically roll. Yeah, you can roll d6 on. Is it attack rolls? Ability uh, damage rolls? rolls, ability check, or saving throws. So damage rolls, ability checks, and saving time. throws. Uh, yes, one time. It's one basically time. inspiration. Moran just tilts tilts his head to one side, and wouldn't the battle cry be more suitable after we have devised a strategy? Because now we're going to sit down quietly and plot how we're going to defeat this thing. Um, true, but I was trying to pump everyone up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think of that. Moran just shakes his head. I, I, I feel like I feel like that warrants a persuasion roll. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but anyway, I I, 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 um, I sit down afterwards just and to see I what say, everyone... I say thanks, Cap. Cool! <laughs> Cap, Cap being uh, a member Cap. of a very famous puppet show <laughs> from your hometown. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> smooth, smooth. I, I've got to try and say it. <laughs> So at this point, does anyone here know anything about dragon? Uh, Would I know anything about dragons? Is it druid? A little bit. You'd know. Um... I was also in the room with it. Yeah, I, I went true. and scattered out the room. So you I... know it's you know it's big, and you know it looks like the um, basically like the the Chinese kind of dragon style you you see in like cartoons and stuff and in anime. Um, kind of like long well, I know that. pointed nose. Merwin would not know what anime oh, no, Merwin, is. Merwin. <laughs> <laughs> Merwin would know it has a, a long pointy nose with like whiskers and at this point um, I just fairly I look, big I look at Eumonic and I'm just like don't you have a dragon wouldn't you know anything about it <laughs> oh no I do but I'm just wondering if anyone know any more about Obviously, different type of dragon. What like do we, if dragon. dragon was white, what do we know yeah. about white dragons? I would, my one is not, so... You could make an assumption based on the fact that you know a black... Um, what the black dragon breathes, which I think I kind of made an assumption myself. Yeah. Saying that it's a, it's a frozen... Like, it uses ice, because obviously yeah, it's sitting on ice. So yeah. that's more, what's my assumption. Is yeah, I, I've already made the assumption that in some way it must resist... Yeah, then that's then that's valid. You wouldn't have a mass amount more. Um, you you don't know sort of like. You could assume that based on uh, on the environment. You can, you know, it's fairly big. So you know, might be quite strong. Um, you get the impression dragons are quite wise. Uh, that's just dipping, as on the nature as well as um, runes about uh, minimal knowledge on, yeah. on dragons and the. Um, and encounters that Founder and Mayor have had as well. Okay, um, I mean, I don't think we really can plan out what we can do next until where we're near, because the dragon could have moved by now and we don't know which area. Could it still be sitting on top of that ice? It could have moved, moved left or could have moved right. I mean, the unless we can see where the dragon is, we can't really plan our attack. 
the the and the ice cube was was filled with like old knowledge, valuable items, and I think Rinsbot would interject like, and we've met a dragon before who like guarded his hoard. He'd probably stay near the ice and, cube. And Vanner would, would, would remind him um, to chip in and say, oh yeah, and, and, and McCaff said he doesn't like to patrol. So it'd be yeah. like very rare that he'd come away from the iceberg or it'd be in that vicinity at least. There were other creatures down there. We'd have to make sure we avoided them. The last thing we need is to end up fighting everything else and I then find mean, that we are... I mean, if we use the same route that we did, I believe that that would more likely to not encounter as I fan. recall didn't you lead several creatures in our di- general direction as long as time? we don't turn left Fanny would advise it's a bigger group as well um, and he doesn't the only thing spell he has is fog cloud um, which can obscure it if he times it right Okay. but um, he doesn't really have anything that can boost it's hard to keep a lot of them like that many people quiet <laughs> I don't believe I, I know any spells that can really... I can prevent us from stumbling across any traps, but I cannot actually conceal us. Okay. Um, I mean, we like you said, we don't really have anything that can help conceal us, so we just need to take our time and be careful. Try not to make as much noise as we can. The mages chip in and say, oh, well, we can make ourselves invisible, uh, and that probably can help us, um, but we can't do it on ourselves. Um... If in danger, then use it. Yeah. But if you're not in danger, try not to use any spells around. Because I don't know, maybe using a certain spell could lead off into something detecting you guys, and then we we'll have to encounter them first before we have to encounter the dragon. Our main, uh, our, our main, our main approach is to encounter the dragon before we encounter anything else. But in the same times, I the whole point one thinking I don't want to like a direct straight to attack I want to kind of think of a way to kind of facing it itself like a straight face to face battle you we won't have much choice all the entrances to the cave were directly facing it we can't we will not be able to sneak up on it except the two who can turn invisible. I battle for no. honour, so I will not. No, I, I, I'm not yeah. saying we not go battle or we go capture or whatever. That stupid question. I'm more like trying to get the best advantage against, like, no, against the dragons to us. That we having a better chance to win it. Not like we straight to it and it's just like, well, here you go, we go attack you now. That kind of thing. The, the, ma- was my the mages say they can they can go in and get position, like be invisible and try and sneak in and and maybe get into position like back into the cave. How long does your invisibility last? Ah, wait. Um, it lasts. I believe it lasts an hour. So one hour. How about? One I hour. Got, how about? This is just idea, but how about instead of we going to the dragon, we lead the dragon come out. You want to take it from the slightly confined cave out into the open world? Is that what you're suggesting? Or just into one of the narrower corridors? Yes. So in well the whole the whole reason I, I say this is because Yes, he's coming out in the open, open field. But in the same times, someone can get to the ice cave and get those, get those book and spell and whatever that is st- stuck within the ice. Um, you do remember it will take some time to melt as well. And don't, and then I said, don't you? Then pointing at. Um, the werewolf saying that don't you have a spell that you can pull unlimited fire bottle or whatever this magic spell he um, does it still would take some time uh, I don't it's, um, which one is it it's um 
You can tell I don't play it's the fire. Very yeah. often. It's Is it a, the alchemical fire? Yeah, that's it, alchemical fire. So it will okay. keep burning, uh, but it will take time to melt. It, but it does burn continuously. So if you threw enough of them, um, my, it would... My wall of fire only lasts for a minute in its concentration, so... And then, and then one of you, and then pointing at one of the mayors, saying, one of you know fireball, and then I... The, I don't know magic, but the mage, that's what, a powerful... One mage goes, oh yeah, we've, we can do fireball. Um, some of our, our cold spells are knocked out, so I've got some upper levels uh, I can cast or put more concentration on invisibility, and then maybe we can cast it on more people. Um, I think they can do, so if they did it... So they can do four extra people and themselves. Each. Um, so four extra people total. So two extra each. Okay. That's, that's their like highest. But, but obviously this is just like this is just an idea to you know we're still fighting at the end. Don't get me wrong, Cap. Um, we still do fight, but it just instead of we got a, you know maybe we got a better chance. Maybe the people in the village they might they might join us i don't know or we could end up getting them killed also um, how likely is it to actually abandon its horde do dragons abandon their hordes to go after random people dragons aren't really um so you would you would kind of know that dragons are more solitary in nature um it's rare that you would have read or or um or like heard of just based on based on like the animal's nature or, or what you gather a dragon to be, that'd be very... If they had like kids and stuff, they're like bears basically. It's, they're kind of like a bit lone unless they have like kids or something they got to look after. Um, just to say something as well, I found out I was reading my hero inspiration. So when I do it on my turn, I can give one creature and myself a hero. So I've got a hero inspiration as well. Okay, so one so, creature and so, yourself. Yeah, yeah. So oh, two, that's quite a lot. I thought I actually thought it said uh, to give one creature or yourself, but it says to give one creature and yourself a hero inspiration die. So wow. we so both you, monarch, him. and and yourself have got a hero inspiration. <laughs> Kill everyone. I don't do that. That's not my character. Uh, <laughs> Fanarin says, "Well, we pr- should probably." Decide quickly and get down before we lose the element of it. It's not necessarily a surprise because we need to we need to be quick as well because obviously we get alerted. We we need to go and check out our, our we need to go and check out the other Farron Farron the, the white. So we need to make a quick quick we need to make a quick decision here. So shall we go with the ranger's plans of being invisible? So is it them two and four other people? So they'll go invisible and four other people total. Okay. Well, it's two each. What? I have no. I have very minimal. I would probably say, I would probably say the two mages, the three other veterans, and Eumonic's character. Yeah, so and Eumonic's I can, I can be invincible too, but only for a minute. But I can still be invincible without the spell. Okay, well, we can give that situation to either Runespark or to to uh, Fandarin. I myself, Fandarin will, go, I I'm myself quite, will not go invisible. I'm quite agile. Th- yeah, and Fandarin, you're more ranged. You've got more ranged focus in your abilities yes. and weapons, so you would be better attacking from afar anyway. And I have a limited offensive capability, so I... I Charging straight in is a very bad idea for me. Yes. In, to so, cut a long story short, so Rune Spark maybe. Yeah, so, so cast it on Rune Spark. Rune Spark. So let me get this straight. So our plan at this point is, um, bunch of us go invincible, and then we're going to shoot the arrow or do a spell on the dragon, and then. Yeah, elemental surprise. That star, that star. You guys can do an elemental surprise on them, and um, anyone that's not invisible will then go up and do what? normal attack. The mages say as soon as they cast another spell, um, their invisibility will be gone, and then that's your your 
So pride is gone. So make sure, make sure everyone attacks everyone who's invisible attacks the dragon first before before the mages do because once the moment that the mages start casting a spell everyone turns visible wouldn't they yes so yeah so everyone that's invisible attack first there's literally going to be only two two and two of us that's going to three yeah, of two. only three of us that's going to be um, not uh, that's going to be visible but that's when we come in later yeah and I got another idea okay we st we're still doing this we're still exactly doing the invincible Mm -hmm. But before we're going to start attack, we going to use rope wrap around his well the dragon's hand and feet. I know obviously it's not going to do a lot, but I think least... a dragon would notice rope being tied around him. Dragons are not idiots. Evil, yes. Idiots, not so much. Okay, we'll go with the first plan. I know, I know the rope idea was good, but unless the rope becomes invisible as well, which is probably will, not likely to. It will. It will. Okay. Which is whenever more likely that, not to. Uh, whenever that uh, invincible, well, obviously I don't know, but my character don't know, but person I know is the uh, the invincible. That whoever that got the spell, like cast the spell. Those things that they're holding is also invincible too. The the mages advise it while it might be invisible, yeah. <laughs> you can still that. feel it. <laughs> yeah, you you are still solid when invisible. You're not intangible. Yeah, yeah. So you still feel the that can still feel it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We shall go down. I believe we shall leave for the cave system right now. I uh, for those that haven't eaten, eat up first as well. This could be your last meal. Last meal. <laughs> make <laughs> that was make, optimistic. Um, in, uh, I want to say make an intimidation <laughs> roll <laughs> for the mages and veterans that have just come in to help you. <laughs> yes. Natural twenty. No, it's eighteen though. No. <laughs> you don't want to be high because <laughs> I'm just going to just. It doesn't matter what I roll. It usually you roll something lower those. than me. And, and yeah, but this time you want it the other way around. Rinspot just looks at you like you've got grown a second hair. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh dear. It, Rinspot um, will turn to the others and just say, don't actually listen to him. Sometimes I don't think he's got much in the way of brains, and that's coming from someone who likes everyone. You see, you see, as, as the comments from Arthur, the veterans and... <laughs> The mages all look a little bit scared now, <laughs> and they're a bit reluctant to step out until <laughs> until Rinspark obviously steps in and says that to give that. them a bit more. My character's actually quite intelligent as well. So you wouldn't. Ah, say you said that. it. You said it. Well, and then that might come see, to play later. They, <laughs> you might have they, uh, they, them. They knew. They knew what they stepped into the moment that they kind of. Yeah, yeah, in, I know. So I consider that. <laughs> okay, I, I, well, I've already eaten, so I'm going to head over to the hall first. Yep, so you all eat up, you all um, prepare, um, and you begin to head over to the hall, unless anyone else wants to do anything. Um, no, I, I oh, go, uh, go ask uh, Bone Carver to see if anyone is actually joining us from the... Um, Bone Carver advises you that she can't get any villagers to do it. They'll oh. give moral support, but they don't really want to risk their lives. Go, R go, 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 <laughs> go, well, they are the cheerleaders lining the <laughs> in the visual, but they'll can, pray for you. But they're not gonna. Um, I think Rune will just can my just dragon come with me. Yeah, uh, your dragon can. It's a bit of a squeeze, and I have to go one at a time. Sephira can get down Sephira as well. Can definitely so. get down. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask because my dragon, my my lion is me. Um, but they can fit, yes. Right, so we're going to head to the um, the hall. Uh, Burn Cover comes with you to the village hall. Um, you notice that they've still got guards out um, out of there. The the shaman's no longer there. Um, seems to have been taken away. Um, she's posted more guards, um, but she lets you into the, to the village hall. Um, and she's got some guards on the outside and also guards on the inside where the secret passageway heads down to the ice cave. 
just to make sure nothing comes back up. I'm g- going to turn to uh, Burn Cover and the guards and just say, keep the passageway open, but keep your weapons at the ready in case something other than us should come back up. They 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 nod um, and they say in their in their language. And, oh, I'm not going <laughs> to try and try and make it. It sounds quite gruff and quite um, quite rough, but they they nod and say, sure. In that language, which you understand, but no one else really would. Just because I've been there longer, I assume. Uh, yeah, you picked up a, like basic in, stuff, yeah. but it's a hard language to learn. It's passable to have basic conversations, and yeah, very. Can Bone Carver speak common then? Bone Carver speaks common, and they they all speak so, uh, like a broken common, but um, and they would tend to speak that to you, and then like some of the more. Uh, not so ed- educated ones would the, the more traditional ones yeah the more, more traditional ones they don't want to dirty their tongue yes. with the common speak more traditional is the better way to spin that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there anything else you want to do or are you going to start heading down is there um, is there anyone is there anyone in this place that can get me a certain item as in like a shield a shield yeah mm, uh, anywhere in this village not necessarily in this village. You know that shields tend to be um, a recent thing and only tend Very to rare. come from pressure price stores. <laughs> the pressure price guy. Which are the only ones that can make round enough shields to be affected. Square shields do exist, but I, I am holding a bit cruder in lots. I am holding a shield, but it is mine. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, right. But it's not. It's not as round as Gongos's. <laughs> You've got to compare your shield to Gongos's. <laughs> that's the legend of shield. <laughs> That's the legendary roundness. <laughs> it could be, it could be, but I guess you'll have to find that it's, one. <laughs> it's basically tree. It's basically just a hunk of tree bark, so it, it's not really. It's not it works as a shield, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let's go down. I'm sort of going to peer down. Who is going first? I'll go down first. Someone that's someone that's quieter should go down first. Is what Fandarin says. Um, I go down first. The mages cast invisibility on who wanted it, so they cast it on themselves. Themselves, the three veterans, and Runespark. Yep, the three veterans and Runespark. Maybe Runespark should go down first. Mm. He's going to be the lightest, yeah. and he's going to be invisible. He's also invisible. So even if he does make a noise, people something might turn around and be like, oh, and just walk away. Okay, so Runespark, I guess, goes down first and just takes a quick look around, see if there's anything. Make a perception roll with Runesparks. Perception. Shame I can't use my own because that's plus three. Uh, unfortunately, not. Rune Sparks is plus one. Okay, and Rune Spark gets 13. Perfect. And after that, can you make a stealth roll, please? And a stealth roll. With advantage because I'm invisible? Uh, with advantage because you're invisible, yep. Is that a one or a two? That is a two. Yeah, that's Because it's dex. Oh, <laughs> good job I've got advantage. <laughs> that's that's <a> terrible. One. <laughs> Oh, 14. Uh, that's enough. It's enough because, well, you're invisible. Um, there's not too many so enemies there's nothing coming around. down. Um, you can hear, like, they can, Runespark can hear, like, footsteps in, in the out, outside round corridor. It goes around the rooms. Um, the first room you head into is is almost like a entryway, a lobby almost. And, and there's not, Based on your appearance layout, until you're in the corridor, that's where you're more likely to be detected. If you could stick to the inside rooms, generally a bit safer, just from your last okay. trip travel. So, Rune Spot will poke his head back. Well, they won't be able to tell that he's poked his head back up, but he'll be, return back to the trap the trap door and just basically say, a lot, uh, say uh, the way appears to be clear as long as we stick to the inner rooms and stay out of the outer corridor. You just see the gear sort of just looking around and trying, like, can hear. Can, you see Riddicus looking around and you can hear, um, like, you can hear the voice, but unsure exactly where it is. Sophia is. probably just. I don't know how much emotion a so, con- so, construct so, so would fear, show. So it doesn't show that much emotion other than if Runespark instructs it, because the way it works is a telepathic link. It's a telepathic link slash inst- series of instructions to make make them operate so it's basically like if you had like an, like an Alexa or something and if you can speak to it as commands or you can speak yeah. to it as if it's a person I, I guess so it would probably just it would immediately zone on to Runespark even though Runespark's invisible because of the link it knows it Sophia knows exactly where Runespark is yep 
and probably a bit of an unsettling gaze to some people. <laughs> just see this clockwork dragon, basically. Just staring at them. I just sort of just like click and turn and, and turn to to the shape. Murren's um, clearly giving Sephira a wide berth. You sort of feel the veteran sort of push you out the way a bit. Um, they're invisible. Um, and they begin to head down as well. Um, it's kind of like a, the weirdest conga line if you can imagine like <laughs> invisible people and they feel behind and don't quite know where they are <laughs> trying to get down some like uh, just like icy icy steps down followed by the, the a lion a mechanical dragon a normal dragon and a, and <laughs> a panther yeah a panther yeah a panther as well, well and it, 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 it wears a bandana it's also it will be an interesting assortment assortment of humanoids. Yeah, it's true. It's just interesting anyway. Let alone in like an ice village in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Pretty much. What races were there? Like uh, they're all human. All so all humans. the Verons are human, and the elves were the, the mages were elves. Okay. Um, like high elves, kind of, kind of level. Yep. So you head down into into the first. Uh, the first chamber um, and it leads if you followed it it would lead out into the round corridor um, that's the bit you've got to be more careful on so is runes about leading again or do you want someone I else to lead runes well there's no point in runes about leading because no one can tell where he's going then to scout the area. oh to scout runes, uh, yeah runes about can scout the area Um, so that'd be any number perception roll, please. Sorry. And another stealth roll or just perception? Uh, just perception. I consider your stealth roll um, until we move completely like okay. different scenario. You move rooms yet? Three. Uh, not three. Sorry, five. Uh, Subtracting uh, another And sure, you know, the room spark takes a little peek and can't see anyone, but it's quite dark and yeah, it's got dim light. Can see sixty feet, I think, um, as a gnome. As a, I don't know if it's written down. Um, yeah, dark vision. He does. Dark vision. Yep. So you can see enough. He doesn't think there's anyone there, but he is a bit unsure. Uh, you, Monarch and Arthur. Fandarin's going to get um, Ridicus to actually do keen smell. Um, I'll do see the if same he can with, smell. I'll do the same with um, um, a mouse. And then Ridicus points. Sort of round the corner with his paws and and well, almost like making to the right, as as like an indication that something's that way. Same as um, I'll probably say it's the same with um. What well, what's what's his role? Yeah. Sixteen plus whatever his proficiency is. Um, which perception is, isn't it? Actually, it gets a I advantage, doesn't it? So. Yeah, keen smell. Natural, Natural 20. twenty to twenty-three. Yep. So he so he does so. <laughs> Uh, mouse comes in, sort of gives Ridicus a, a bit of a shove. Um, he stands up like <laughs> he points two paws <laughs> to the right. Um, is unsure to everyone else whether he's just copying Ridicus or <laughs> was one to one up him, <laughs> or generally could detect that. <laughs> I guess we're not going that way then. Would someone who's visible like to lead the way so we can actually tell where everyone is? That's a um, Fandarin actually Should sends Ridicus to lead. He says, "Well, why don't we use the animals?" Yeah. And he sends um, Ridicus first. So can make a stealth roll for Ridicus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same with um, uh, Mouse as well. Make a stealth roll, please. Uh, Ninety plus six. My my lion has always had a better advantage. Why is the roll so good <laughs> for my lion? Um, so here, twenty-five. Okay. It gets, it gets Do the rest of us stealth. need to make stealth rolls, or? Um, yes, please. Yeah, everyone else. <laughs> this is me now. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, no, crap. It's a group thing, though. It's a group thing. So. Nineteen. Five altogether. <laughs> I've got no chance this round. <laughs> My lion is going to be MVP. <laughs> well, with any luck, the group as a whole will be more stealthy than you on your own. <laughs> One more dice. <laughs> Hang on. What kind of armor do you wear? Uh, heavy, so I'm on zero actually. Oh, you have disadvantage if you're wearing heavy. Oh, okay, so I'm already on two anyway, so five. So no. there's no much difference. So, so the mages and two of the veterans are okay. 
I've got 19. Got 19, so you're okay. You monarch, what was your stealth roll? And mocking with stealth roll. I got, for myself, I got 16. Yeah, that's enough. For your you mock, uh, not you monarch, um, Mokima, I got natural 20. Okay. I the hope that's enough. The animal, so between the between between, between between you or oh, the animals being quite quite stealthy, uh Fanner not having a problem I not Fanner. Uh Fanner not having a problem. Um the mages and to the better has been okay. Um just trailed at the back is is <laughs> one invisible veteran that's going like with his like sword hitting his um, his long sword hitting just, his just clanking short sword, along. just clanking along, basically, with, um, the, the followed is... by Arthur. Um, you t- as a group, you turn around, and it's like shh, 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 and it's like whispering, getting to be quiet, and and eventually you manage. Is to it one of those comedy to... lines where the person at the front turns behind and says shh, and then they just all do that? Effectively, and they all do that, and it's at the back is like the, the noisiest bit. <laughs> I turn around, um, and I'm at the back, and touch. there's no one behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you turn, there's not behind you. Um, no one's following, and in between you, you manage to go round. That would have been um, a perfect time for an encounter. Comedy that would be yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah. It would be ideal. I was thinking they could make a, like another perception roll, but that's uh, too mean. Um, <laughs> you get around halfway, um, and you are now the other side of that um, ice cavern where the the hook comes down, and hits the hits the wall, um, with the ice pillars down below. How did we get down there last time? That's yeah. out of character. How did we get down there last time? I don't. Pretty think much, fe- like between you, you fell, jumped. Um, it's because you casted your spell on us last time. Like a uh, feather fall. Mm. Uh, well, it wouldn't have been Not feather fall. Whichever one um, that gives us an advantage on our. Oh right, deck yeah. Saving. Deck saving. No, no, cat's, I've got cat's en- grace. Yeah, cat's grace through an en- enhance ability. So, yeah. Yeah, and it was flying to get back up from McCaff. Is McCaff with us? No, but the mages can yeah, cast but, fly. Yeah, but if he cut the, not the mage, people there. If, but if the mages cast fly, would the invisible people turn invisible? Uh, yes. Yeah. So no. It's I think it's common best and concentration. Yeah. So, is fly uh, not concentration? Fly is. It is. Yeah, I think I have to check, but uh, I think fly is. So then invisibility would fade. So invisibility would fade, but they could fly you down. But um, then you lose your no. step. I've only got three level 2 spell slots uh, 3 level 3 and 2 uh, out of character again so not sure if I want to be casting enhance ability before evening combat no I just get the rope well, down yep so between between you you must have enough ropes so veterans have 40 yeah. feet of rope between them I've got 50. do I have each. any rope? I've got 50 so um, you've got 50 I'll, feet I'll, of I'll rope down. It's it's the, there's rope in the down, explorers like back, another 20 there? yeah there is yeah. so 80 feet, feet altogether so you've got enough to get down you've yeah, got so. over 100 feet so you can climb down yeah. 60, 70, 80 you've got more than enough rope to get down okay. and yeah, we'll, tie it all together we'll tie it all there. together and slowly go down yep I need everyone to make um, another stealth roll as you head into a different area natural 20 natural, natural mouse yep. so I, always, just, I always roll mouse first mouse just like slides down just sort of jumps really? down he doesn't really slide he doesn't take the rope Right, twelve for Murren and fourteen for no, yeah, twelve for Murren and fourteen for Runespark, unless Runespark gets advantage still. Uh, yes, he does because he's visible. Still, still visible. Oh, okay, that helps. Uh, Eighteen for Runespark and twelve for yep. Murren. So who? I, natural one. Uh, you monarch. Uh, <laughs> I got I got twenty six. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, Mokima got 17 plus whatever. That's enough. Stealth. So so a lot of the animals just jump down. <laughs> they didn't really use the rope, they just sort of jump or climb. Um, you witness um, a lot of people just start sliding one like down one by one, almost like abseiling basically, just sort of jumping down but but being soft with their with their landing on the ice. I think Murren would probably throw his quarter st- stuff down first. But the way it lands, it doesn't like embed itself. It just kind of lands on its base and just stands there, waiting to be picked <laughs> up again. In like an upright, like a like a the bottle flip challenge, but like yeah, but always it, but, yeah. It just it it always hangs that that way. That's fair. That's fair. So you throw throw your start start down as like a little flip in this lands. 
dead upright um, on the ground and you then climb down with both hands. Um, you generally, generally okay. Um, Arthur begins to head down. You're thinking, oh, I'm doing all right, but you're taking a long time. Um, and then the vet, the last veteran thinks, no, I'll come down at the same time. And as he jumps on the rope, he slips, falls onto your head and <laughs> knocks you both down. You don't take any damage, but you just slide down a lot faster and you sort of make a little bit of a crash as you land at the ground. As they, as they land, I kind of wrap them both on the head with my staff and just like, you are both you, going to get us the, killed. The veteran is invisible, so you just like hit Arthur and he just like takes a, a couple of attempts to hit the veteran. But you do manage it. <laughs> <laughs> what's my, is um, this the same veteran nah. yes. <laughs> what, what's your passive it? perception how do you calculate passive perception again um, mm. it's 10 plus, plus wisdom no 10, 10 plus wisdom and then plus proficiency if you're proficient in. I'm not perceive, perceive, I'm not proficient in perception so, so it's 13, 13. Yeah, so yeah. would I be able to find him first time if that, no. if that was his stealth roll no his stealth roll was really high and every roll after it's like it was like an I think it was like 18 plus whatever their dex is and then <laughs> and then like that one was now, just well, that was a one that was a natural one and a time before was a natural one so <laughs> yes me and him are going to be MVPs of this match we've used up all our natural ones they're the ones that are going to not to be too good um, but you did manage to make it down into uh, the um, the area of the ice pillars um, and at this moment, you feel that fog cloud come in. I've been rolling for encounters, so mind, and I can never get them. Um, a fog cloud rushes in. You feel the cold wisp of air as it flows through the caves and obscures your visibility temporarily. Um, you've come to. You're at this point where you can see the two the two tunnels. You're basically in this air, like um, an area the just outside of the map. Uh, with the two tunnels that go in the right tunnel is the one you've cleared of traps previously and the left tunnel you haven't been down yet does the can we see down both of them or do they it's they're quite long tunnels um and they're quite like it is well lit and you can see but it, they're quite windy and, and quite bendy um is that just an alcove in the... that's just an alcove uh, at the back right of this room where the dragon's lair is which of you will see shortly Sorry, yes, we've been given the cave map, the dragon's lair's map, before we were actually in the lair. So. Uh, just, just to be prepared, but um, <laughs> that was my prediction. I could have been wrong, and I could have not even like just decided to sort off, off. <laughs> which has happened before. You okay. once been what a whole session when you just decided to go and never win it on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um. Okay then. So you're at the now, edge, so you want to take. Now two. we're now we're here. Let's uh, go according to plan then. We'll... So, the the mages want to go in and get position first. They're going to. Oh, that was good. I was very concerned that I thought that was us. That is you. You haven't given us. <laughs> um. So uh, the mage, these... uh, one mage runs. One maid ducks in, um, and you, you feel like a wisp of air. Um, he runs down the down the tunnel and then disappears to the right. Um, you can't hear him at all. He's like this most silent mage, other than this like wisp of air as he runs past you all. Um, Ridicus is like, oh, I can I can smell him, but he's quick. <laughs> um, the other mage runs around to to the left hand side. Um, he gets in a nice position. Um, towards the middle left of the cave. He didn't want to get too close to the other tunnel, just in case. Um, who else was invisible? Was Runespark. Runespark. Um, he doesn't want to get too close, so he's going to... Oh, it's actually up to... I'll do that to Dan. Yeah, and then the three veterans are all invisible as well. So. Yep, and they're going to you. run in position. They are going to get a bit closer they're going to get into position first before they attack and this is where my experience with rune spark comes into play i they're think he's well. mostly ranged 
He can be, yeah, he's mostly ranged. Um, you can use him a bit up close, but you can't be ranged. Um, what actually? Uh, let me just find out what his range is. And thanks, Rob. I'm going to call them out on video or audio. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't hasn't mentioned his ra uh, range for. Oh, his range is sixty. It's um, I want to say thirty feet, but because it tells me the radius once it hits yeah, something. Which, which so like a... the alchemical fire is, has a five foot radius when it hits something. Yeah, but he has. I want to say how far he could throw feet. it. I think feet. it's thirty feet. But, um, we will go with that then. We'll go 30 feet for now and I will correct so, it. So 30 feet, time. and the, this is 100 foot cubed. So you'd want to be closer. And his movement is 25. 25, because he is a gnome. Short little legs. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 5, 10, 15. Yep, 25, 30. 30. So, yeah. it, that, so this That's dragon will take up basically four four squares. It takes up uh, five. He's also like 20, five, five, ten, 20 feet, and some, he's something quite up. Tall. Yeah, yeah, because he's a it's a large creature. Um, where did you want to want to go? He can't see. Oh yeah. So, do you want to be at the back or or sort of up up close, or do you want to hide somewhere, you monarch? I want to hide somewhere. I don't want to stand next to Yep, yeah, make a stealth roll. Um, there's puddles of 29. ice in the area. Um, just where? 29. Okay, yep. So and you, same, same as my dragon as well. Uh, yep, so you can safely hide. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. What was your dragon's roll? I got eight. But I don't know my stealth for the dragon. Okay. It wouldn't be enough anyway, even if you had like five stealth. So your dragon's a bit funky. Um, as it tries to follow you to your hiding place, which we'll come back to in a second. Um, does Arthur want to be closer or? No, stay where I am at the moment. There you are. Um, Fanon will stay back as well because he doesn't. He's pretty safe here. I think Merrin would actually be. Stood Probably behind. next to, or next to or behind Founder and yeah. Founder move forward a little bit. Just and due we'll, to my lack of offense. Yeah, and we'll take a quick break there so we can set up and hopefully get you some video source. So see you in a second. All right, so welcome back. Um, so we've now set up our nice little map and the veterans have run into the the lovely cave system which you should be seeing on your your screen the veterans here dragon perched um on top of the ice block um in the ice cavern with the the flowing the flowing water with like ice tips that have fallen back down into the into the lake like freezing coming back down You've got little puddles of ice where um puddles of water sorry or icy cold water um and all the ground sort of ice uh you monarch and his dragon mokuma um have well you monarch has stealthily gone over there uh mokuma not so stealthy sort of clonk clonking along afterwards rune has got a bit closer ready to attack Um, these wizards, uh, both invisible, the veterans invisible as well. Um, they've gone to position, and the rest of the group have stayed back here. Um, the dragon turns. Would we not get a surprise round from bursting in? Kinda. I well, I'll say turns to Yamonica um, yeah to Mokuma mainly because he doesn't I guess ah oh, it's rare dragon comes here I suppose that's because you've got people with you um, and he gets ready to attack 
Uh, at this moment, the veter like the veterans, can come in for an attack. Um, I'd say Runesback can get an attack, and the wizards or mages. The wizards want everyone else to attack first. So I guess, yeah, they'll attack as well, depending on what the veterans. Are. So just going to roll for the veterans. If Dan would like to roll for Runesback, that's a bit of a surprise. Oh my god. Is... So I the, really have no idea what I add. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's a safe, saving it's safe. So the veterans, um, they 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 all run up, uh, jump, um, clamber up to the um, the dragon and make a, a melee attack. The dragon just sort of deflecting each one one by one. Um, they swing twice of each swing twice of their swords coming down with um, almighty sort of cross. They try and coordinate their attack at the same time. The dragon is just easily deflecting this, just deflecting, deflecting. One of the veterans does sort of catch a leg, but it's it's not quite um, strong enough to actually pierce the skin. It's come like flakes of scale come off, but it's not. It's just not taking hold. Right. Um, what was the saving throw for? So it's the uh, spell save is fourteen. <laughs> I just rolled a natural fourteen. Um, well, that's just rude. So just rolled a natural 14, um, plus its modifier, um, which, what, what was it, sorry, what save? It's a 14 save, so you've already Oh, just passed. a straight 14. Yeah. yeah. DC spell save of 14, so it's passed. Um, so even though you you uh, pull out the file, or throw it, it just lands on the, dra the dragon's feet, has no effect. Um, alchemical fire, was it? Uh, it was going to be alchemical acid. Yeah, alchemical acid. So the acid lands on the ice. Um, you can see it sort of bubbling at the ice, and, and does it start to like eat away at it? In not, any way? not at the moment. It, you can see like it has some sort of effect, and it, you see a little bit of steam off it. Um, you get the impression it would, but it needs a lot. Um, the dragon just, just taking it, just doesn't, doesn't eat through the the white scales of his his long spiraling body. Um, Do I got a chance to attack the, as well? Um, you know you're there, so I would say no. Um, the two maiders at the back, um, they would. So, um, two maiders at the back, I'm going to cast Fireball. Um, so they, they <laughs> in, in their invisibility, they make a, a spiral motion with their hands. Um, almost like a like a, a windmill, um, and as they do that, a big ball of fire begins to appear in front of them. Their invisibility uh, dissipates from head down, and two giant fireballs go flying towards um, towards a dragon. So the dragon is going to, it's a 20 foot radius, so 5, 10, 15, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. One Baron is gonna get hit. Unfortunately, he doesn't dodge. So this veteran managed to, managed to jump out of the way. He, he jumps down into the icy cold water. Um, just to dodge out the way as the fireball goes above his head. Um, the dragon um, gets hit by the fireball and you, and, and you, you, you feel like um, like it's going to take hold. Um, the dragon seems a lot of pain and then its skin glows an almighty bright white and it uses one of its legendary resistance to choose to Past the saving throw, um, and the effect of the fireball doesn't take place. It sort of absorbs the energy of the fireball into its skin, um, going sort of a bright whitish, which fades immediately afterwards. So does it not just take half damage? No, it uses its legendary resistance to choose oh, to okay. succeed the saving yeah, throw. Yeah, no, I thought if you succeed a saving throw, you take half damage. Or is that um, not the case for the dragon? It does. It does take half damage. 
So it takes oh, 48. Good catch, that. Good catch. It is a good catch. Um, but it does absorb the energy rather than I take it. And half damage for that is probably better. Here, three. And one more D8. One, two, seven uh, plus four, which is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I take seventeen damage um, from that one, and yep, so take seventeen damage total. Um, I would say that then goes to the a initiative rounds. Um, so, if everyone like to their initiatives, so Severa, which is uh, the the Rune Sparks Clockwork Dragon, has a, um, a twenty. That one. It's towards the back. Uh, you Monarch um, has a sixty. Um, a Seventeen. Uh, 16, sorry. 16 on initiative. 19. No, 19 on initiative, sorry. Arthur, so Mumonic has a 19 on initiative. Arthur has a 18 on initiative. And Mouse has the same. Ma Mouse works with um, Arthur based on the abilities. Uh, Fandarin has 11 Runespark has 9 Muran has 6 <laughs> which is a bit um, a bit of a shame uh, because of the um, ranger skills uh, Riddicus works on the same right so first of all the dragon goes first. So what he's going to do is uh, he's going to take care of these veterans first with his multi-attack. He's going to make three attacks. On each of them or on one of them? On uh, one of them. Oh wow! So a six, six, and a two, <laughs> which is nowhere near <laughs> the AC of a. Uh, but then when I come with seventeen on the veteran, <laughs> I'll die. Um, <laughs> that is a massive fail. So he basically goes down to a bite, and the veterans manage to block with the, the with their shield, uh, their sword. Sorry, um, opening the jaw, getting the jaw stuck, like sword stuck between the jaws, stopping it biting down. It tries to swing on the claw at the same time. It's distracted with the sword being um, against its jaw. Um, it's going to can't do anything more it cannot it's going to use its a frightful presence ability um, possibility it's going to try and stare angrily at the veterans okay. um, so it can do a choice each creature of a dragon's choice is within 120 feet and the wear of it must succeed in the DC 14 wisdom saving throw or become frightened for one minute um, so it's going to try and frighten the two veterans in front um, the wisdom isn't so good Oh, natural 20. And a 14. Plus everything. Okay. Um, so, so much for that. So the veterans just sort of growl back. <laughs> um, dragon has not scared them. Um, that's all it can do. It doesn't really want to move yet. It wants to protect his iceberg. Ice cube. Or his ice cube. So then it is Sephira's go. So Sephira is going to, hang on, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 15. So yeah, I can just about make it. Sphere is going to fly over the top and then use its bite attack on the dragon. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bite attack that was, Lee. <laughs> I don't know. Just for visual. <laughs> um, so plus four to okay, hit. Yeah. Natural 20. Natural 20, well, so, so that's a, four a, in total. a crit. My first natural 20 with these that's dice, decent. and it's not even my own character. I know. <laughs> and the bite is 1d10 plus 2 plus 1d6. Wow, so... That is the d10. So 1d10 plus 2 plus 1d6. So the plus 1d6 isn't doubled, but the rest of the damage is. The rest of the damage is, okay. So is it plus 4 piercing? Uh, it's still plus 4, but it's 2d10 doubled. So it's 2d10. Uh, 2d, um, sorry, wherever it's in the thing. So 1d10 doubled. 1d10 doubled. Double the result, then plus 4. Plus instead 4. Of plus 2. Yep. And then plus 1d6. Yep. So that's 8, so that's ten, 13 in total. Yep. 13 in total? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's not too bad. You're wearing away, which is always good. So you, uh, Severa comes in and it, uh, sort of flies in over Rimspark's head. Go straight for the, uh, the dragon's sort of face, bites its nose. Um, the dragon feels like the like the sharp, like sharpened metal basically to pierce into its skin. It's a bit like, what is this creature? It's like it's not a dragon. It's not natural. Um, um, for future reference, a fifteen foot cone with Sephira there. Would they be in it? So Sephira would have to be next to it. They a fifteen foot cone, depending on where it went from, would be. Uh, five, ten, so like fifteen foot cone at the widest. So, f so cone, so five, ten, fifteen. So it'd be kind of, I would say it catches them free. Okay. Um, but dragon's gonna do. Oh no, it's not his go yet. I know, no, he can do it because it's um, it's gonna use his legendary action. So a dragon can take three legendary actions. Um. And can only use one at a time. Um, so e each turn, it can use three legendary actions, but can only use one of them at a time. So it can use one. Time. Then later on in the in initiative round. order, it yeah, can yeah. use a nif different one. So at the start of its turn, it gains three legendary actions back. So it can. So in one round, it can use three. Um, it's going to use wing attack, which does cost two actions. Um, and it's going to beat its wings, so the the, the the dragon stands its back legs and just starts flapping its wings. Um, so I need Sephira and the two veterans to make a dexterity saving throw. So natural one. Yes. So the vet, natural twenty followed by a natural one. The vet. <laughs> the veterans roll a seventeen and an eighteen, plus is dexterity. So I just need to check this. Plus on one dex, so this one managed to brace himself against the wind. Um, this one, unfortunately, does not. He thinks he's braced, begins to start sliding backwards, um, and then it's sort of not prone, ten feet away, um, taking. I'm, I'm going to use that as not prone for now. Yep. Take in three, four, five. 11 points of damage as Sephira also gets blasted in the corner of the um, just at the edge of the edge and gets knocked back 10 feet this way prone as well um, yeah prone or yeah uh, prone and also takes 11 points of damage okay I need a calculator actually no I don't so that Fairin lost 11 points of damage from that so does that mean this dragon's legendary actions are all gone in this Turn. Right, it has no, three. It's, it's used it three. Two. It's used two. Okay. I just didn't know because you said that it uses two action. I didn't actually um, understand in this one. Yeah. So you have three, and so it's used two. It's basically like key points. But then it just used. Didn't it use legendary action the first round? Yes. It can use the legendary action end of each creature's turn until it's next. Oh, okay, um, okay. You have to use it three times. It's basically like key points that replenish every every round. If that makes sense. Um, and it's then going to fly half its speed 
um, which is uh, 40 or flight 80 feet, so it's going to go 40 feet back. So 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to sit here for now. Um, just fly back and land back down. Um, but that veteran does get an opportunity to attack as it flies away. And he rolls a natural 20. Good start. Which is a good start from the veterans. I'm rolling really high for the veterans, but not for the dragon. I just kind of. Then just find Good for the pie and bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> this whole game I don't roll. So with, with his long sword. <laughs> uh, it's 1d8. Is it 1d8 or is he holding with both hands? It's 1d10, sorry. I don't know if he's holding with both hands or if he's got a shield or what he's got. Both. Yes. Oh no. One. Have a look. I literally rolled a one on a one D ten. Um so that's two that's two plus three. <laughs> so he's only does five damage as a, as a dragon. So it just catches its like foot as it like this little scratch in the foot. It like cuts a toenail off. Slowly depleting. Like it doesn't really like do anything. It's better than nothing, I guess. Ah, true. Right, so that's uh, that's Vera's go. You, Monarch? What are you doing? So, uh, you, Monarch, is here. The dragon has flown into this back corner. Is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, about 45, 50 feet away from you. 45. Yes. Uh, there is a giant um, ice cube in the way. How tall is the ice cube? It's only 5 feet high. Yeah, it's 100 cube 100 feet. 100 cube feet, so 5 feet high. Well, 125 cube feet. Yeah. It's not. It's a big cube, but not very tall. Um, I move. I move ten feet closest to. Not there, but to behind. Behind. The veteran. Yeah, yeah. Where are you pointing at? Yeah. Yeah. Shot yep, go for it. I got fourteen. Um, fourteen, unfortunately, does not hit. So you um, take a bow and you you fire. Um, it doesn't quite make it all the way, kind of gets stuck and skims the uh, the iceberg or well, ice cube even, sorry um, and kind of gets sort of drops a bit short and then I end my turn okay, so you stop your end your turn there it is Arthur's go alright, so one, two, three, four, five Yep. And then I get. That's 20. Yeah, it's 30 feet. Yeah. What's his name? Mouse to move on as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. What's his speed? Yeah, 50. 50, yeah. And uh, just going to have a look, see what's happening. Yep, so you, um, as you as you run in, you can see that uh, Sephira has gone down prone to sort of crash land a little bit. Um, you obviously see the veteran that's prone there. Uh, you might not cry towards it. Um, you see this veteran, this head. Can I help? Head first. Her up. Yeah, if you want to. Oh, uh, yeah. I would I've, say I've got speed, so I've still got one more speed. I would so. say that would be an action though, if you wanted to help him up. Yeah, I'll take yeah. an action to help. Yep. So yeah. you take action, and then they're no longer prone. Okay. And um, I, I'll win my turn. Yep. Getting closer. Um, it is now the veterans go who is prone this veteran's going to go first and he is the prone one is that one 
uh, he's in ice water, so he's oh. going to come out the ice water first, <laughs> so he doesn't get a, a exhaustion, and he's going to attempt to. Um, so that veteran's going to come out the ice water, and he's going to attempt attempt to fire a crossbow. So he loads um, loads a crossbow and he, he, he fires, and it, it does find purchase on the dragon. And it, as a as the bolt uh, shoot shoots past, hits the uh, the skin or the scales of the white dragon, um, and it ends up piercing piercing the skin. The dragon's going to take one d ten. Damage Let's try not to roll a one again. Yeah, I'll try not to. Destiny. Ten. Yes. That makes a nice change. <laughs> so, um, you guys couldn't didn't that see it, really... but Lee's face when went for when he said ten, he was like, Ugh! his face pretty much went like this, <laughs> like that, because he knew he's the dragon. So <laughs> he's like, God damn it! <laughs> it was it, it's the fact that it's one of my highest scores <laughs> ever <laughs> on a D ten, and it was not on the dragon. Clearly, you're not destined to be a DM. You're destined to be a player. I know. <laughs> Matt from the, get the on chance. DM. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> a rock falls. The DM's now a player. <laughs> <laughs> a rock falls and cracks open. Out the sun sprouts a brand new character. <laughs> Unfortunately, as the rock fell, Arthur was killed. <laughs> he now takes a backseat as a DM. Anyway. <laughs> Um, that veteran's going to wait there. Um, it is Fanarin's go, so he's going to move to get a bit of a better positioning. Um, he's still shooting from there. <laughs> that's, that's but yeah, he can. That's what he's going to do. But um, he's going to fire two of his dragon drawstring. Um, one does hit. The other one's a nine. Plus nine. Five is not quite enough. Nine. There was nineteen plus five, which does hit. Um, oh, that rolled. So close. It was a nine rolled back to a six. Um, so Fandrin pulls back his bow, uh, his dragon's drawstring bow. The um, the string on the bow uh, begins to go like a fire, um, surrounding in like a, a, a thin layer of fire. As he fires the arrow, it, it becomes uh, almost like a almost like an energy or a, a streaming fast comet kind of level of fire as it hits a dragon um, you can you can feel the dragon sort of take in the uh, the heat and he takes six points of damage um, the second arrow that uh, Fandrin fires doesn't quite it, it's on target um, same thing happens it flies and a dragon managed to sort of just deflate or uh, just sort of a duck and deflect out the way. Right, so that is uh, second veteran's go. Oh, no, that's no, not second veteran's go, it's Rune Spark's go, sorry. Rune Spark has a range of 30 feet, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, 30. I think I'm in range still there. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you're in range. Yep. So I'm going to throw another Ow. alchemical acid. So that's another deck save of 14dc. So 14dc uh, deck save, yeah? Yep. Just notice dragons aren't, aren't the sneakiest. They failed. Okay. <laughs> Free. Free. So that's 4d6 acid. All sixes. That's what you want. I'm Here really we go. Hyped, though, but Here we go. Well, I got a six. That's not bad. One six. So 20, so no, five, 15 altogether. Nine. Yeah, 15. Yep. Um, so he takes 15 points of damage.
So Dragon takes takes that as as so you throw the throw the vials. Uh, it was acid, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah, it was acid. Yeah, so you throw so you throw the acid. Um, you see like the vial of acid sort of spin, slosh about in front of you, and this lands and splash on the, uh, on the on the dragon, and and you can sort of see that the scales beginning to be a bit cr- like start to peel off and a bit of more exposed. It's not really damage, but it's like muscle, and and you can see it below the uh, soft tissue below the scales. And that's where some of the acid seeps in and causes the damage. Dragon sort of growl and goes. None of us. This speak is draconic. my treasure in Draconic. Do any of us speak Draconic? I don't think anyone does. I mean, Sephira does, but we can't, can't relay can't it. Relay it so <laughs> I don't um, think Runespark does. I don't know how to speak common. You speak common? Um, so I don't think anyone does speak Draconic. Just saying, we used to speak. We used to speak Draconic. So did Haskin. Two of the characters that we got rid of can speak Draconic because now you feel it is so Well, useful. in all fairness, they didn't speak much in general, so <laughs> it wasn't true. very interesting to have you around. I cannot actually find Runespark's language. I don't I'm think he does. I don't think he, he does speak Draconic. No, common I'm sure that's come out before. No, I gave up on um, speaking languages so I can know how to play chess. <laughs> chess and not chess, by the way, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically you just run and jump at the uh, yeah, pretty much a person and whoever falls down first is the loser. <laughs> I can't tell if you two are being serious to be honest. I don't know, but it's yeah. canon now. <laughs> right. Um, so uh, that was the veterans. That was re- um, Runespark's go. The um, this the veteran's gonna get back up. Um, five ten. Five thirty. Can't really. 20. He's going to get here and have partial cover behind the um, behind the ice cube. Oh god, that was terrible. Um, and he fires, um, gets his crossbow and he he, he reloads and fires. Um, it's close, but the dragon just managed to f- like pick up his paw um, and his claws and just hit it out of the way. Um, this veteran's going to do the same. He's going to climb on top of the uh, the ice cube. Oh god! Um, he loads a crossbow and he fires again. Um, again, don't have a deflection from the dragon. Just just deflecting these these bolts. Uh, it is Murren's go. The su- the support druid who has next to no offense. Yep. Okay. Um well at this distance I I'm going to conjure wall of fire. Oh, interesting. Because that's a yeah. hundred and twenty feet range. Yeah, yeah. Uh where do you want to cast the wall of fire? Uh I'm just gonna I just wanna quickly read through I didn't think to read through what it does before. Oh, no, that's alright, that's fine. But if you read the mechanics um, out and you create a wall of fire on a solid surface within range, which is 120 feet. You can make the wall up to 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and one foot thick, or a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high and one foot thick. Wall is opaque and lasts for the full duration, which is one minute. When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 5d8 d- fire damage, or half as much damage on a successful save. Once under the wall, selected by you when you cast the spell, deals 5d8 fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or inside the wall. The creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. The other side of the wall deals no damage. And then it talks about higher levels, but it's a fourth level spell slot. I don't have anything higher. So, I am going to cast it. There. Because it is technically, I'm yeah, yeah. casting it under the dragon. So you so want to cast it at, what, a radius or a... No, it's a, it's a, wall, a wall like that. Okay. So you want to... Let me do that away for a second. So it is how, um, how 20, long is it? It's six. It's sixty feet long, but it's up to so basically from wall to wall. Do wall to wall. Um, that is a wall, by the way. It goes up. I don't know. Oh, I guess will it go up the wall? I guess. Well, it's um, six feet, twenty feet. It goes up twenty feet high. Yep, so it would. And it's one foot thick. So. Yeah. 
and then I want that side to deal the extra damage. This it's, side. it's effectively on this side, as far as I can tell. So. Yeah, I would say that I would rule the dragons on this side. Yeah. Or it's big so enough that it gets affected by that. So. It's now needs to take. It uh, needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Which it did a thirteen, but you see the white glow of energy from its body, um, and it's going to choose to succeed um, and absorb the magical energy to take half damage. Right. In that case, I need uh, four more d8s. Uh, you can still you still roll four. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I need. I, oh, I've, got, I've got a DA. I need like, extra dice. <laughs> I thought um, you were rolling half, right? I, I might have my. Um, should get one here, and then that's three. Seven one, one then, right next to each other. Do it. Lee can't tell the dice difference. It doesn't <laughs> specify if they make a save. It doesn't specify anything about a save for being on that side of the wall. So I think they get the full damage for that one. Yes, if you'd like to read. If they it. start their turn in the uh, area, the end or. It's like enter the wall, that's on the wall, or end their turn, so I don't really know how that bit works. Creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time or turn, end its turn there. So. Five d eight. So I need to roll a second five d eight. Yeah. So that's four, that's ten. So it takes twenty damage, so ten damage for the first. Wow. That's, that's for the half one, and then for the non half one. 40 damage. Uh, that is. That That's was a, a one. one. <laughs> that's not a good start. That was four <laughs> plus three, that's seven, two, five, so that's ten. So 17 the second time round. Is that just end of, end of its turn, though? Yeah, that would be at the end of its turn. So, okay, remember that. Keep the damage yeah. in. Okay, so, I'll how much did it lose this time? Uh, it lost uh, 10. 10. And then at the end of its turn, it would lose 17, lose assuming 17 it doesn't time. move. Or it doesn't do something. Okay. Um, right, okay. So that happens. Um, so you cast the, the wall of fire, um, basically, where the dragon is cornered. <laughs> cornered even more in behind a, a wall of fire, which is taking. It's also opaque, so. Yeah, you can kind of see it's... through it. Well, it? Opa solid. Opaque means you oh, no, cannot solid. see it's through solid. it. So, no. so it could move through it. It can move for it, and then I, I well, would say but if anyone's doing a ranged attack, would definitely have disadvantage. They would, but I don't know if it's got blind sight. So, okay. if it doesn't have blind sight, then it can't see us. I bet people seeing him would also have the same issue. No, I, I'm aware. Yeah. I'm just pointing out that oh, it yeah, probably yeah, yeah. can't unless it's got blind sight. It, it won't be able to see us. Yeah, so. it works both ways. That's fair. No, that's understandable. It does have blind sight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've just looked into it. It does. Um, okay, so the mages are going to mm, be mages. Fire! <laughs> as a bonus action, before we move on, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shillelagh on my quarter staff. Uh, what does that do? Sorry, that that just—it's for my own quarter staff. I can now uh, do extra damage, and it's a magic weapon. Oh, okay, that, that's, that's cool. all it is. It's just in case I need to yeah, do yeah. melee combat. So, so your staff begins to the glow of some medical energy. It's the same duration and not yeah, concentration, yeah. so I might as well. You might as well. Why not? Your uh, Merrin staff glowing with magical energy as that happens. Um, so, the two mages, uh, they both fire their fireball. Um, Using their next spell level, and then the dragon sees the two fireballs coming, and it begins to take um, glow again. Um, the white energy come from its skin. Uh, this time, you notice that the white energy um, from the dragon begins to flicker a bit, um, especially towards the like at its brightest moment. It begins to flicker in and sort of almost like a, a short and out bulb. For playing on it. Supernova. Dragon's gonna take basically half damage for that one. <coughs> Get my D8, sorry. 8, 9, 10, 8, so 16, 17, 20, 20 damage in total uh, from, from both mages. This dragon's looking pretty. 
pretty wounded, surprisingly. <laughs> there is a lot of attacks on it, to be fair. Yeah. Um, we did a good thing called well, reinforcements. Ten car- ten hu- well, humanoids and I- five pets. Yep. <laughs> not everyone's attacked, like not all the pets are attacked and I'm attacked, attacked yet. <laughs> um, I'm just stood there. <laughs> this dragon's gonna cast a five, ten, fifteen. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen. What can I say? Yes! <laughs> I do a cone from for like five, ten, fifteen. Hang on. Yeah, you're you're just safe. Yes. <laughs> but the three veterans, um, and Severa. I am so watches happy. as the dra- as the dragon. Well, the so like the shadow of a dragon almost, basically. And then he watches a blue. Uh, cone. Um. Blue, like a blue cone of an icy blue streak, just shoots out of the um, out of the wall of fire. Um, I tell you what, I would say, I would say, make an arcana roll. Arcana. Yes, It'd be a contest for arcana roll. Okay, this should be interesting. Three. Just because I'm thinking how an ice <laughs> ice works against the wall of fire. <laughs> Well, which would have a role to this place? Natural one. I, I'm, getting good rolls for, I'm getting good rolls for Sephira so and it, terrible rolls for myself. So you witness that the... Um, it doesn't die, but you witness that the... becomes weaker in that area for um, temporarily um, as the ice energy, um, magical energy from the, from the white dragon begins to overcome the arcane energy of your arcanic... Um, energy of your magical firewall. Uh, the blue streak comes out in a cone, hits the three veterans here, and um, and Sephira just narrowly missing. You, you feel like Woo-hoo! you feel it so cold. It's almost like um, if someone like opened a fridge right in front of you, but like times ten, <laughs> times a hundred. <laughs> it's that cold. You feel like that touch it, you'd be like frostbite. Um, I need Sephira to make a. Constitution saving throw. Sephira makes constitution uh, yep. saving throw. And so do all the veterans. Oh, uh, 19 plus 3, that's 22. Uh, that's okay, so you take... 22, um, I think, if I've got my maths yeah. right. Yeah. You've got that right. You saved another pet with a 19. You take, but you got a 1. You still take half damage. But, yeah. um, How is it I'm getting excellent oh rolls God. for someone else's pet? I rolled two 11s and a natural 1 for the... <laughs> for the veterans rest in peace um, <laughs> yeah plus, plus 2 on the 11s and needs 15 so they're like no it's not good and that, so they're all going to take 10d8 that's a um, lot Sephira takes 5d8 so 1, 2, 3, 4 got, well I say I Sephira's only got 35 health um, I need there's 5 so I'll do 5 and do 5, yeah, do five, to five. so that's Six, seven, eight, nine, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So twenty for five. So that's, is that the twenty I take? Or uh, I or do you add it all then and halve it. Halve it. So it's twenty plus twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-one plus seven. So thirty-eight damage halved, um, which would be. I can't do it in my head. <laughs> my maths is failing me. So nineteen damage for Severa and thirty-eight damage for um, the three veterans. See, that, that at that moment I was not worried. Only because at one point, and because at one point uh, I had to encounter him at, and Lee rolled <laughs> so badly that I survived. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get complacent. I think Robin might be get... rather unhappy if I end up killing his pet. So can you oh, go yeah, for someone else it's... for a change? Well, you can still rebuild it, but it just takes a lot yeah. of resources. Right, so 19. To I mean, I can have a new pet if I want to. Minus 19. It's oh, no. very low. Need some, need some re- like, repairing. That's 16. 
Just doing some maths here with the variance. That is the maths. Do you think Robin will still be awake at this time? Mm. It's mm. possible. Mm, maybe. Yeah, his friend will be on silent anyway. Right, okay. Um, so that's the, the, the veterans, as the dragon. Probably still at work. Is done with that one? Sure. So, Sephira's go. What is Sephira doing? Um, trying not to die. I <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> um, Poison breath, I'd say. So that's got a range. That's a 15 foot cone. So I'd say Sephira is going to fly up to just there. Yep. So directly in front. And use poison breath on the dragon. Yep. Which is a deck. Save, I think. No, con save. Con sorry. save. Okay, that's interesting. Con save. What is it? Oh. 10 plus 6, so 16. Yeah, it, I think it made that save. So. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah, it's an 11. Con save. Oh, it's 11. 11. Yeah, yeah. It's a very <laughs> easy con save. But I couldn't risk it. Right, so um, as the uh, Wall of Energy hits the, uh, the Veta Ruins and Severa. Um, overcoming the arca um, arcanic energy of the, of the firewall you hear a, a gasp as the um, dragon sort of sucks in the cold air around him um, at the same time the fire um, sort of plucks up and, and begins to burn and the dragon takes um, an extra, um, some more Just damage 17. 17 damage that was it. 17 damage and it's looking quite rough. The scales are begin to to from the acid to, uh, to be an almost like not corroded is the wrong word, but like um, peeling and tissue and acids dripping into the inside tissue, and you, and you can see it in like the dragon's um, like silhouette behind the wall is kind of uh, not as fluid as it once was. A bit stiffer. So severe. Uh, so Sephira's so. moved up to there and using breath attack so con save uh, yep so a con save um, that's failed so <laughs> 10 yeah I did I'll make a save um, yeah. it succeeds on the save do, do that one because on your last talk yeah. there was a bit where you said it succeeded oh yeah okay um, so that succeeded um Okay. Um, so, so that dragon makes a say, uh, makes a save and succeeds. So that's half. So sixty-six halves. Sixty-six. Uh, I think I've got the sixty-six. No, I have five. Does anyone have spare sixty-six? Six? You want number six? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Halved is so it'll be twelve. Twenty-four. So it'll be twelve. Yep. It takes twelve damage. Um. And and. <laughs> wow, your mechanical dragon is doing my mechanical dragon. Well, well, Runesparks mechanical dragon, I should say. <laughs> Runesparks mechanical dragon is doing more more work than my own character. <laughs> I believe those are yours. Yep. Thanks for the dice back. Um. Yep. So. <laughs> It uses the uh, sort of mechanical system to, to spit out some poison spray. Um, just act on top of the acid that's already on the dragon. It's taking, it's just taking damage. Um, drink is a, a ground. Fine. I remember this. Enemies of the cult. And then it is. You want it to go? Because <laughs> dragon can't do anything. Um, so you want to go? It's still um, over on the right hand side of the cave. Um, the dragon is um, behind the wall of fire, um, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, other than the, the silhouette. Who's the person? With that, the purple? that is Sephira. So Sephira is the mechanical dragon that has flown up What's to the distance? attack. Um, from the dragon's about 10 feet. 10 feet? 
10 feet. So the, the distance 10 feet? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just continue firing shot though. Yep, go for it. You want to roll A attack? I got natural one. <laughs> oh no. So you, um, you pull out your bow and you, you, you sort of think it's all, all lined up and as you fire it, it sort of goes and falls at your feet and like the worst arc ever. And you, you sort of look to your, look to your left and just see Foundry and looking at you and just shaking his head as like, just like a no, just no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Arthur. Okay then, so I myself I'm gonna go up to him. So can you move my character? Uh yep, so you move up towards the uh, dragon. It's right getting it. hot as you get close, but Okay, can I go right a bit? Uh yeah yeah. So I'll go there, yeah. And then I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get mouse to run and pounce. <laughs> on the yes. The dragon is within a firewall. It's within a firewall. You gotta wear that. Mouse will take damage if it enters that firewall. I don't choose who it damages, it damages everyone who enters it. Behind that wall. Enters and behind. Mm. Enter turn it. Or, or, or enters it during that turn. Yeah, it's true. I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yes. Yep. So you can do it, and it's in. But it's up to you. You would know it's hot and you'd know you're jumping all the fire. Right, then it. I'm just going to attack myself. Yep. Right. Um, can you see? Uh, it's only one foot thick. thick. How yeah, you so you can see. The is like 40 close. feet above that. Sorry? What was that? Sorry? You, you want it? What kind of attack are you using? Because I believe that the dragon is like 40 feet on the air. Oh, it's not. It's on the ground. You can see it's on the ground because of the, the silhouette. Okay. So and also, so if it was 40 ground. feet in the air, it wouldn't be in the firewall because it's only no, 20 no, feet no, high. No, no. The great sword, 16 plus 7. Right. 23. So I'm going to roll the second attack. So I'm going to attack twice. Yep. Natural 20. 20. Okay, wow. then. So here we go. Eight. 8 plus 8 plus 6. 14. 14 plus my strength mod of fire because of great uh, well, two handed uh, attack. Yeah. What's the so strength mod? My strength mod is plus four. So, so that's 18. 18 yep. altogether. And then. Yeah. My second attack. Yes. Four. Four. So eight. For that 20 attack. So eight. Yep. Because it's, it's doubled. Yep. For the natural 20 and then. Um, Plus another six and plus another four again. So that's the same. That's eighteen, 18 again. So thirty odd damage. That's thirty six damage. Eighteen, 18 double to thirty six. Oh, it's looking rough. Uh, this dragon is looking rough as you come in with your uh, your two great sword I, attacks I, I, I look uh, through the firewall. <laughs> it just you just see like the the sword and the silhouette of the sword. You keep in trying to keep yourself this side. <laughs> I look at it and I'm just um, like and it's just taking damage and you're, you're I'm just like for honor. Driving. I look at it and I'm like for honor. Would I hear this at the entrance to the cave? Uh, it echoes enough to hear it. <laughs> I, I kind of just lean on my staff heavily, exhausted by maintaining the firewall, and just sigh. Yep. Um, with exasperation. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my greatsword. And um, I'm meant to be a pacifist, and I'm the, I've got a massive wall of fire killing this thing. I need. Are you done? Or? No. Well, that's good. You've got a bonus action, right? I've got a bonus action. And movement. Yeah, but then if I do movement, he'll get an opportunity to attack, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to use... Nothing. I am on turn, actually. Yep, yeah. so um, I need you. I need uh, Arthur, Sephira... Uh, you just Arthur and Sephira to make a dexterity saving throw. Unnatural 20. Uh, 8. Unnatural 20. Yep, 17 eight. plus 3. I got 8. Um, okay, so Sephira is fine and, and sort of sees, sees the flapping of the wings from the silhouette coming. Um, 10 feet of blindsight. 
Let's just yeah. get. Let's say that's the reason why ten feet of blind sight. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> manages to to brace himself. I'm aware of the attack before. You, on the other hand, unfortunately, take. Um, you get knocked back ten feet. Um, well, not quite ten would feet. Would getting knocked back also cause an opportunity attack? I would say not because I'd say that is the attack. The attack oh, is okay. to be knocked back, so I wouldn't give you. I think that's you could do it that way, but I would say that's what I mean. I'm on the um, floor. Bye. But you're knocked back, and you hit the hit the um, ice cube and fall. Friends, Ooh. you take um, two d six. So seven plus six, uh, thirteen points of damage. Okay. Um, Do I take half that? Well, just rather does Sephira take half no, that? Um, no, if you succeed, you don't take the damage. You don't sound sure. I'm checking. I'm reading now. You don't take damage. You don't take damage. Okay. Yeah, so you, so That's you good because Sephira's only on 16. On a dexterity saving throw or take the damage. So if you don't succeed, you don't take anything. You just brace right. it. I had, a, I had a punch with the dragon. I should, the damage comes from <laughs> mainly falling. In fact, I've actually done what I'm supposed to do. do. Um, the dragon. And then it's going to fly 40 feet. 20. It wants to fly up 40 feet, but I can't put it up 40 feet. Can it do that when it's not its turn? Yeah, uh, yeah it's part of the ability. So part of the oh. ability, after it does that attack, it then can uh, use the momentum to fly half its speed as part of its ability so um, the dragon can then fly up to half its flying speed which is 80 so okay. 40 feet so it's now 40 feet so it's outside the wall um, above the wall I have to leave it down because I can't hold it <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably about 40 feet yep trying to avoid the damage um, that was Arthur's go um, this vet these two veteran are going to Try and shoot the dragon. The ultimate crossbow. Oh my god, that's terrible. So they both get their, their crossbows, fire at the same time, um, but they cross streams and the bolts hit each other and then deflect each, oh, each, other. Deflect each other away from the dragon. Um, this veteran's going to help you up. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's a bit <laughs> that, <right> works. <laughs> that works. That works. I'm not using those well. dice, so I might as well just. Yeah. Um, so, dragon. Uh, not dragon, the veteran helps um, Arthur up. Yes, because I helped her once. Oh no, I helped her. I didn't know she helped me up. I helped, I helped her. Uh, um, he uses arrow. Oh no, he takes a, his crossbow and he, he fires immediately after. Um, not really paying attention to where he's aiming, and just misses entirely. It's like the worst aim ever. Um, um, Foundrin is going to. Take a shot. So um, he fires fires one of the arrows, and it, it sort of goes past past the dragon um, as it's sort of flying up, um, kind of misses. The second one, he readjusts, pulls back his uh, drawstring, lights it on fire, and, and and this one comes at like a, a really fast speed, um, almost like a little bit of steam at the end of the arrow tip. Uh, um, for only four points of damage, unfortunately. Plus five, so it'd actually be more, so it'd be nine. Um, this dragon is looking rough. He's got an arrow sticking out of him now. Um, his scales are falling off. You can see the dripping of acid as he's flow flying up, and there's acid dripping down. Um, his scales are kind of, kind of withered, and like the the one shine it has on the whiteness is gone. Um, for there's some magical essence, essence that kind of dissipated a bit. I only have one weapon that can attack it. That's my trident. That's my heirloom trident as well, so I'm definitely never going to throw that. <laughs> can't attack it. Dragon can't do anything more. Um, so it is. Um, Rune Sparks go. I kind of did the three Therians in one go. I should have done yeah. two and then one. But, um, um, apologies. Rune Sparks, Rune Sparks go. got. 30 foot range it's 40 feet high though yep so I don't think Greenspark can do much um, right well poison spray is a range of 10 feet 
I, I mean, who's damaged? No, Severa. <laughs> Severa is damaged. damaged. Um, all of Aaron's are pretty, like, injured. Um, I've taken 13 damage. This Aaron's having it the worst. Okay, in that case, 5, 10, 15. I'm going to use Cure Wounds on that veteran. Yeah. So that's 1d8. Would he use Cure, cure Wounds, though? He's got... Po po he's got potions oh, of he's healing. Got potions of healing. So Kilmans would do the most, and then the little potions would. Yeah, um, what do potion do like three d three d six? Three d six, I think. Like uh, the healing draft, mm -hmm. or is it something else? The healing draft. Yeah, yeah, healing draft. Healing yeah. draft is four d eight now. Uh, d eight. Yep, and that's it. So yeah, I, I give him a healing draft then to use. Yep. So if you want to roll the health, as he um, pulls out a. I've got 48. Uh, pulls out a bottle that's kind of um, curvatured in shape, like a mul multiple curvatures with a red, a reddish liquid in. Uh, he pulls it from his um, alchemical bag of holding, a little cork bottle. Pops the cork and gives it to the veteran. So the veteran <laughs> points it. So uh, yeah, so that's 12. Yeah, 20. Um, and gets 20 damage and is looking still injured but healthy. a little better uh, just to uh, reiterate that uh, it's 20 healing and not 20 damage yeah oh sorry yeah 20 <laughs> healing <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> if he took 20 damage he'll be very very bad looking <laughs> he'll be dead <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so if that's anything else Runespark can do still um, move I mean, it's an, is it an action. Yeah, it's an action to take it out, and you only have one action. Yes, it is. I've got yeah. two squares of movement left, mm -hmm. so I could still use cure wounds on someone. It's not a bonus action, is it? No, it's not. That's a good point. Yeah, I can't. I don't think so, I've got anything that's a bonus action. Um, don't think there is, unfortunately. No, not I, on think, spell I, think, case. I think that's it. Well, he's got nothing he can do spell wise. Yeah. Okay, um, so you don't want to move, that's fine. Um, I did do the free veteran, so again, I apologise then, but it will go to Murren's go. When, so when, people, go. when people watch this, they'll just be like, really? The two at the back right here have literally just stood there for all the session. Well, has been firing. I do have a range of 120 feet for that's the spells ridiculous. I'm using. And he's used, used Wall of Fire, which has <laughs> helped you out a lot. I mean, I could use Wall of Fire again, because I've had a second, mm, fourth level spell, and it does say solid surface. You it doesn't it specify it has to be the ground. No, no. So I, I could agree. make it come out horizontal. Oh, yeah. And it would no, catch the dragon again. That's true. So I think I'm, I'm tempted to do that. But first things first, bonus action. I am going to use 4d6 of my fey points on Sephira. Okay, yep. So you yeah, use your... Um, Marin uses his fey points, um, which cast a magical energy. So that Amongst is... Sephira. I'm going to have to re-roll that one. Oh, that's fine. a really good roll already. Yeah, so that's, that's good. That's already 12, 17. Where's that? Blue? And then one that dice, it rolled off the table, and we have to re-roll again. Ooh. What's this beer one? Three. Uh, three yeah, 20, bad. so that's 20 plus 4 temporary hit. That's what I told you not to re-roll again. No, it's a free on the floor. Yeah, but that's not too <laughs> bad. Yeah. That's not too bad. Um, um, so the magical energy surrounds uh, Sephira. Um, and Severa begins to. So that's actually back to the more from the previous. You see, like the so. not really hill, but the clockwork begins less. to get a bit straighter, a little, 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 little bit, a bit like less bent. <laughs> and that was a bonus action. It's more like it's more like a mending, but because it's a construct, magical energy works. So now. I'm going to use Wall of Fire again and make it appear out from the side this time. Okay, so you cast another... another. Actually, yeah, because the room's only six feet long, yeah, yeah. so it's double, my range is double that. So. Um, so how far do you want it to go? From the wall to... I mean, it's up to it's up, it's up to uh, 20 feet out, so I just want it to hit the dragon, so that far out would be fine. Yeah, could be any fair it would have hit. Yeah, and at the same so time... Fair. <laughs> the side that the dragon is on is going to be doing the extra damage. Yep, so... You, so, so that's a dex save. So you basically see this wall of... It has been a solid surface, right? So it has to be coming from your ceiling. The wall is a solid surface. 
Oh, so coming out from the wall. Well, I see. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. just a paired in midair. It's coming out from the coming wall. out from the surface. Yeah, so you basically create a basically a pillar of fire from <laughs> from the wall. <laughs> um, I just wonder where you connected it to. That was all. Um, coming out of the wall, going across and hitting the dragon. The dragon sort of looks behind, seeing that seeing like the the flames and begins to try and like fly this way. Um, and as he begins to fly, just gets hit by that wall. Um, so yeah, that's a dex save. It's out of legendary action, so it has to actually make a save. And its dex is fifteen plus nothing. Well, spell DC is fourteen, so it's passed. Oh uh, yeah, still takes half damage there. Yeah, so I need to. And it is looking extremely sure. rough. So much for being a pacifist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't really have much choice in that. So. <laughs> the pacifist has killed the dragon. <laughs> um, ten. 21, so that's 10. So how do you want to finish the dragon? As it's begin to try and fly and make its escape. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice, does he? he <laughs> it's just, just incinerate. Just... Yeah, it's well, yeah, yeah, fire is just going to explode flavor. from the wall and incinerate it. Okay, if you want. <laughs> so uh, the dragon means to flap his wings and begin to desperately try and fly, not making his way to um, the ice cube. I should probably fly mention, to the that's a concentration spell, so the first wall will probably would, have would faded. Dissipate. Yeah, yeah. Um, as it begins to fly towards the, the pool the, the fire wall underneath the dragon just drops um, and uh, another fire wall comes from the, the solid ground behind him dragon looks back um, sees it coming, just tries to like fly a bit faster, it's like Scooby doing me there um, <laughs> the fire hits the dragon um, and, you, and you witness the magical energy sort of take hold of this dragon which has lost all its magical energy during the, the fight um, and, and you witness the the wall well it's not that thick but it sort of goes through the dragon and begins to burn inside out into a almost like a ashy hole through the dragon and this mm -hmm. dragon just falls to the ground um, I guess Severa um, anyone sort of in this sort of radius would sort of feel the, the impact of this large dragon that's hitting the ground um, shakes the ground a bit and you just sort of feel the Feel it. it's not enough to not to knock you down or anything, but it's enough to feel. Um, that was loud. Okay, so that means that everyone will probably start charging over this side. You won't have long to do right. what you want. I know what I'm. I, so I know are we what ended I'm encounter. You you um you ended the counter. Okay, now fine. So what I'm going to do, I don't know how well this would work though. Can I go to the dragon? Yep. So my I'm wall of fire is still there. The I have yep. not dispelled that wall of fire. That wall is still burning. I'm just warning you now. I have not dispelled the wall of fire yet. How big is it? How, how tall is the wall? It would be as high up as the dragon. As high as the dragon. Okay. So it's actually, there? So that, that wall of fire is gone. Yes. But that wall of fire would be 40 feet up. Yes. So he, you'd be fine to approach it. You'd be fine to approach yeah, it. I was thinking, you, I was you, like, you, isn't it in the ceiling? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was just wondering. Um, um, can I search it physically? Uh, yeah, there's not too much to find on the actual dragon, um, apart from a few scales. You can you find the teeth quite sharp. Um, it doesn't really carry any pouches or anything because a dragon. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I can I extract some of its scales and teeth? Yeah, it'll take some time, but it's doable. Well, I just I wouldn't make you roll for it. You can just do it. And actually, actually, sorry. Um, oh, you go first. Make a animal hand check just to see like the quality. Sorry, uh, Maren. As, as he I... starts to do that, I'm going to walk over, dispelling the firewall as I go and basically just knock him with my staff like why are you doing that he may have been our opponent but he fought with as much honour as you did show his show his death some respect yeah but I need to help my kingdom to grab anything that could be useful in the future that could threaten us you claim to hands. fight with honour to fight with honour is to treat your dead and your deceased enemy with honour uh, uh, yeah one sec it is yep. true that I should treat them with honour, which I did, and um, now I'm treating them with honour by taking all this stuff. Uh, I don't okay. think that's treating someone with <laughs> honour. Well, it's not It's not someone anyway, it's something. Anyway, so as, as they're arguing about um, what constitutes honour and uh, what you stand for the animal, uh, you, Monarch, what would you like to do? Uh, can I take his teeth and cut his tail? 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so that, yeah. So, is make camera. make another animal handling check. So, as, as Moen's um, arguing with eighteen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you get about uh, I'd say about fifteen scales and what else you want to uh, a teeth teeth, um, but only one teeth. Okay. Teeth are harder to extract. Fifteen. Um, you want this. Chomon's tail takes some time, so if you realise it's not really that fruitful, you just go for the teeth, and you do get one teeth. Um, Did I see him do that? Would I have seen him yeah. do that? You, as you are arguing with, basically, as you are arguing or having a discussion How many with, scales did you get, sorry? Fifteen. Fifteen scales? Yeah, white dragon scales. Um, as you're are you having a discussion with um with Arthur, you you witness you might just walk up to the other side to start trying to cut the tail and then walk around to the jaw um and just then um, start plucking teeth. Damn it. His AC will be higher than eight. I was gonna cast Storm Whip on him. <laughs> yeah. Um, um Um Fan Fandarin comes up to you guys and goes, Well, Shouldn't we focus on what's at hand and try and get this ice cube melted before more people come this way? Okay, I, t- I go over and... We've uh, got a quick access. Right. Exit, ba- basically, exit. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say to everyone, right, everyone, gather around the cube. So um, start the, the, two, the two wizards <laughs> cast their um, <laughs> remaining spell slots to cast fireball multiple times. Well, they still got some more, but they cast uh-huh. it like three or four times just to burn like fireball, fireball, fireball. I see everyone using fire. Cube. So, I'll go in my backpack and grab a torch and put it next to the. Ice. I'm gonna cast. <laughs> I'm gonna cast flame arrows on Fandarin's quiver. Uh, yep, so get, get a bit of get damage. So he, as he, uh, Fandarin then just runs back a bit, <laughs> and then begins to fire, <laughs> where he's a, a bit, a bit better aim. He's, so he's firing, um, against this this ice cube. You hold your torch up, it begins to melt. You're unsure whether whether this is due to what everyone else is doing or whether your torch is actually what's causing this melt in ice I believe my <laughs> torch I think Runespark would probably also be using like his he'll be throwing his fire yeah, and, and because I can't something. actually contribute much more I'm just I'm keeping part of my focus on the quiver yep. but it only works as well I'm just, just going to keep an eye on the entrance perception roll for me please I look at Eumonic and I'm just like I'm just thinking to myself I'm not actually saying um, to him I'm just like I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> 21. <laughs> you might as just stand there just watching this happen. <laughs> 21. Um, as you do notice, in the, it's a bit of a distance, so maybe in the far corner of your eye, you see movement, like shadows coming down both sides. Um, you've got a, a bit of time, but not much. Um, the ice, by this time, with all the fire that you've been firing at and magical energy, it would have melted. Oh, I'm just going to. Eumonic, get back to, to us quickly. You couldn't get everything, but you can get. No, that's like, no, that Thanderin, sorry, yeah, not Eumonic. Yeah. Thanderin. Why did I say Eumonic? Yeah, that's right. It's easy. Than... Than... Thanderin, get back to us quickly. So I, I literally uh, shout. Thanderin. I literally oh, I don't shout. I just tell everyone because they're close to me. I'm just like, grab everything. Then we can. I don't care what it is. Just grab it and let's leave. We can't yeah. leave through the tunnels. They're blocked. You gra- We've got people coming. Grab like. W- w- so Thanderin says, well, maybe grab one or two items each, so you can carry. Try and keep it waterproof. What did we make our decision on my reef shark based form in the end? I, I would say you could do it. I wouldn't say uh, we'll use the reef shark stats, but we'll say it's an, a shark shark. Sure, yeah, like, um, is shark. there a shark that's normally present in Arctic waters? Mm, I don't know. I don't my know wildlife is not that good. Um, because um, we'll use we can use the reef shark stats and then just use the reef shark stats, but there are such things as a green oh, a green shark is good in the cold sea yeah Greenland sharks yeah Greenland sharks are probably a good choice you would have seen one of them up here yeah Waverly. so okay so I'm going to grab what I can carry yep because whatever I'm holding merges into my beast form with me true so it would be protected uh, make a um, I want to say because it'll be a uh, oh actually I know what I'm going to do I'm going to do Investigation or sleight of hand if you want to I think something. investigation would probably be better, but... Up to you. I'd rather do sleight of hand because it's plus three. Yeah. Can I do sleight of hand then? Yeah, you can do sleight of hand. Fifteen. 
That's enough. So you grab uh, two or three, uh, two or three items. As I'm doing that, I'm going to reach out to to Sephira, who is amphibious and also able to swim. Yep. And cast. If I'm hoping I can still, yeah, enhance ability. Bear, bear in Actually. mind is clockwork. So if you did go in the water and they couldn't hold any items because it would get wet. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to do that to Arthur. Yep. Enhance ability, ball strength. Advantage on strength tech checks and his or her carry capacity doubles. Yep. So he's going to be able to carry twice as much. I'll carry every weaponry that there is. Weapon, isn't it? Well, okay. Um, there is make make an investigation check just to see what you get. Okay. The legendary sword. Because bear in mind, you're trying to be Arthur. quick. You're trying to be quick. Rune box. Natural one. <laughs> so you, you grab four items that you think are weapons. Okay. We'll come back to that later. Okay. Okay. Runespark's probably trying to just stuff as much as he can into his bag of holding. Yeah, Runespark's trying investigation. to... Investigation. Uh, investigation, yep. And just to see the Force quality. Right hand, which uh, one? Whichever one's better. Investigation's plus five. <laughs> I think I'm going to use Slight, that one. Sleight of hand would be better for like damage, but investigation would be yeah. better for materials. Not that it matters, 11. Can I okay. See Actually, his flaw... I think it's his flaw. Part of his personality is that he tries to always get as much as he can. Yes, stuff. greedy. So would I give, get advantage for that? or? I wouldn't give advantage for it. <laughs> if anything, it would disadvantage you. Yeah. I would just load a DC. Um, yeah, yeah, you might get my hands on anything rare or priceless. Yeah, okay. You might what would you want to do? Um, is it seeing this is like what kind of things there? Um, so looking there, there's, just, um, there's a lot of documents. Um, there was one or two weapons, well, things that look like weapons. Um, can I, can I <laughs> put my pencil? Can I, can I take those weapons? No, nah, they're gone. So um, Arthur took the things that look like weapons, and then okay. it just bit it. So all oh, that's remained is a, a few bits of paper and some. Yeah, I, I just took whatever's. Okay. So, yeah, make make I... a general investigation check. You might not can in. And that'll give the quality and what you get. A whistle to get uh, so that I can jump on. Uh, yep, mouse. You can jump on mouse. I got sixteen. Yep. So you get um, um, pick up a couple of files. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and there's one that particularly grabs your attention, which is to do with creating constructs. Okay. Um, and it, the author appears to be your mother. Um, what did I grab? Uh, as Moen. Yeah. Um, as Moen. What was your investigation the, check? Sorry. Uh, my investigation was a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I did my slight. Yeah, it was twenty-one. 21. I rolled an eighteen plus three. Yep. So, so you, you grab a, um, the the thickest book basically, um, which is a um, it's, it's almost like a binded book, a manuscript of some kind. Um, you won't really have time to read it, but. Um, it seems to be the one that's got the most work on. Um, it seems to have a lot of runes um, and arcanic symbols on it. Anything else? Uh, you get a couple more files, uh, miscellaneous files. Um, you'll have to sit down and read them to see what they are. Uh, you don't. Uh, you do find some gems as well. Um, so I'd say uh, three or four. I'd well, say four rubies um, and three sapphires. Uh, would I know how much they're worth seeing as I generally deal in stuff other than gold for money um, and they are worth quite a bit which I will find for you now um, so a I'd say the rubies 
um, these ones because they are not the cleanest or, or perfect rubies. Um, I'd say a good 500 each. So 500 each. So uh, for the rubies. Um, four times so 500. 2,000. No, 500. No, it might be 20. 2,000. 2,000. 500 times 4 is 2,000. Is oh, that right, gold, 2, gold pieces? 2,000 gold, yeah, yeah. Sorry. 2,000 gold pieces. And the sapphires? Uh, the sapphires. I will check for you. I'm checking my massive gem list. So they are a bit more. Um, they are again not not the cleanest, not perfect. Um, so they are eight hundred. And each I've got three of gold. them. So that's 20, two thousand four hundred. Four, yeah. Um, so between you, um, you do notice uh, you hear some rumbling. You hear um, like some cobalt singing, rah, rah, rah. Um, sort of chatting each other. Um, you hear some clon clonking coming out uh, from this cavern. Mm -hmm. Enemies are getting closer. Right, that guys, seems to be a lot need, of them. We need to leave. If we don't leave now, um, there's gonna be we're gonna be surrounded. Did we took everything? Uh, there's not everything, but you won't have time to take everything because there's so much in there. Um, can can my dragon lift it up? Uh, it could, but it would get damaged. Go and leave it. Hmm. Uh, Fandrin takes um, some vase as well. Um, he stuffs them in his bags. Uh, was he, is you might want to use his dragon to take something and see what happens at the other side? Um, yeah, it would be good. I mean, I can use the rope, kind of rope around. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, okay, so you put a rope around um, a couple of items. You can't take that many items, um, but just a couple of items to give to your your dragon. Uh, what are you guys doing as um, you hear like stampedes of enemies coming closer and closer? Actually, um... <laughs> What other stuff are there on the floor left? A lot, mainly just files and um, so. If we coins grab, can, and stuff. I, can I? Well, I don't care about the coins, but the rest of the files. Yeah. Can I get half of them and quickly shove it into uh, Rune Sparks' bag? Of, he's already stuffed. Them. He's stuffed things. a lot. Well, he's already he's been got, doing he's it. Already, so okay. that's why I made investigation rolls was to give you the um, like the, the amount and the quality. That's what the investigation rolls were for. Okay. Um. um all right, I, 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 I shout. All right, everyone, let's go. So I'm going to, well, I say I, Murren, rather, is going to run over and jump. And as he jumps into the water, he's going to turn into a... Another name for Greenland shark was a grey shark. Yeah, that's Greenland won't exist here, so let's call it a grey shark. Yeah, a grey shark, yeah. <laughs> see, so turn into a... <laughs> everyone just witnesses a grey shark. Just like you see, like, Murren jump and a grey shark just appear. <laughs> go... <laughs> um, it's cold water. Um, your skin can take it. Um, um, it's very cold water. Your skin can take it, and your your swim speed allows you to manoeuvre fairly easily. I tell everyone to jump in. Yep. I was like, this is our only way to escape. We go through the main ways. Both sides is surrounded, so we can only jump in. Yep. Um, so everyone else jumps I, in. I'm, I let everyone jump in first, and I hold back in case someone does come, so that I can attack it. So I'll be the last oh, okay. one to jump yeah, yeah. in. There's a shark swimming just like in this area. Right. No, just in this area, trying to keep an eye out because because I can breathe underwater. I'm the most suited to go last. Yes. Yeah. So that's fair. So you're swimming swimming round. Um, each person, just for the sake of brevity, each person jumps in um, one by one. One by one. Um, it comes to <laughs> comes to Riddicus. So Riddicus is a bit more reluctant and sort of like dips the toes in, like. Not sure I really wanted to go in there. The shark splashes um, Ridicus just to yep. make a point. And then Ridicus sort of shakes his shakes his fur and Fandrian sort of just gives pushes him a stern look and just pushes him in. <laughs> He's like, 
sorry it's for your own good and, I'm riding, and he jumps in after him I'm riding mouths and we just both jump in um, as you're about to jump in um, as this happens your cobalts have begin to read and run across and a uh, bit munch of cobalts aquatic trolls um, the cobalts get close they try and grab you but miss you um, the two aquatic trolls push the cobalts out of the way and dive in the cobalts not following you but you're being chased out of this by two aquatic trolls are there is there any I allies need... with me within five feet of me and the aquatic trolls uh, yes there are yeah I'm not gonna do like an initiative roll for this. It's more like a right checks. on one of them. Yeah, doesn't matter which. Uh, I don't have a multi attack, do I? know. So plus four to hit. Never mind. <laughs> See, you. <laughs> I'm not much luck with my attack rolls. That's a natural one, guys. See, you, you've um. See, as a crowd trolls come in, you go for a, a bite and realize uh, these they're quick. Um, and it's sort of oh hang on I had advantage yeah yeah pack tactics I should probably have ducked out the way L16 plus 4 so that's, that's an unnatural 20 that's enough so that's 1d10 plus 2 now a reef shock is 1d6 poison damage yeah I'd give would, it a, would I would, a, would a grey shark still have would an ice shark still have mm. poison I'd give it I'd give it just for the sake of make it easy okay um, I'm unsure in real life well, I don't, I don't like think, it. I don't think reef sharks <laughs> no, like, they have really poisonous reef bites. Sharks don't, no. D and D reef sharks do. D and D reef sharks, yeah. They've been eating too many planktons. They're like the LSD fish. <laughs> oh, it's still bad. <laughs> so that's one plus two piercing down. One plus two piercing, so that's three. Nah, that's not. Plus five poisons. So that's so, it. <laughs> as you know, <laughs> as you buy into a aquatic troll, you realise they're tough. Um, and like one bite or a one-on-one -on -one fight, even as a shark, it is not gonna not gonna do it. Your best is best best to run. Yeah, um, I, I've kind of bitten it just to make a point of don't follow us. And yeah, I, I kind um, of swim swim around. I think it's fair. Swim off. Um, and then as you you swim off, they begin to begin to chase. Yeah, there's enough of that one that one aquatic troll kind of hangs back a bit. Like, yeah, I'm not really interested now. My my boss is gone. So you basically just followed by one aquatic troll. I need, um, and the flow of water is quite strong as well. So I need everyone to make a, I would say this would be a strength check, just so against the flow. A strength check or a strength save? Uh, strength, strength save, sorry, strength save. I've got plus zeros in all my saves, so. Mm, I've got I'm, Riding on mouse, so who's underwater? Yeah, so we're we'll both floating we're, we're, with mouse. Yeah, so I'm, so I take it because everything that when I'm riding mouse, everything is you. It's me. So your so my strength. Okay, that's fine. I've got uh, twenty two. You're still on the mouse. Yep. What? Where are Rinsebuck's saving throws? Uh, zero for strength. Is it zero for strength? Well, strength is modifier zero, so I don't think he's proficient in strength. I've got no question to ask. His modifier for strength is one. A one. Oh no, so he would be. He would have. I'm. I'm not sure if those. I don't have saving throws. I don't have saving throws. Okay. So yeah. obviously, pack tactics. Yeah. Um, okay. You have to have one creature within, uh, one ally within five feet of the lion. Yeah. Or of that certain. So whenever I attack with mouse, when I'm on it, does it get an advantage? I. I would say. Ally not include in yourself is how. I'd but I'm his ally. Yeah, but you're on. Yeah, but you're on him. him. See, okay, so surrounding. That him. You're... I think pack tactics. The idea is you're surrounding them. Rather yeah, than yeah. Actually on them. I, I would say you're if you're on the. <laughs> Run up to them. Jump off. <laughs> Use master attack. Well, <laughs> well, 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 yes. What, what kind of is it? A movement, bonus action, or action to get off? Probably an action. I don't mind getting off. I I would say I would say because if you're on him, you don't get pack tactics because then. You basic because because he works through you basically, so he's one entity. Um, so you'd have to be separate, separate. So mm. that's how I'd rule it. Otherwise, I'd feel it'd be too unbalanced. But could be amazing. Though. Um, so yeah, but uh, strength saves. Yep. So strength saves are eight for the shark. Yep. Uh, eighteen for the gnome. <laughs> oh wow. And fourteen for the amphibious dragon construct. Uh, the actual aquatic creature got the lowest. Can so, I not have an so, advantage because I'm swimming? 
No, I, just for just for fun. <laughs> Sorry, it's not that bad. You're only gonna take. Uh... You're only gonna take. <laughs> I'm only gonna take some damage. Nine points of damage. Uh, nine points of damage. I don't think a shark has that. As... I've got twenty-two. Oh, a shark's quite stunning. Um, so, so as you know, it's the fl- the flow comes back. The waves basically causing a bit of um current flow, and it knocks you, it knocks you, um, sort of into the rocks on the side. Um, take nine points of damage for. Uh, that same for the um, an- amphibious clockwork creature <laughs> also gets um, taken off guard and hit into so the rocks so that's 9 points of damage for that one yeah. um, mouse and Arthur are, are fine um, founder in well, you won't, at least, um, Sophia would only take 5 because she's still got that 4 temporary hit true, true. Yes. Um, founder in yeah. managed to succeed um, he grabs, grabs Riddicus at the last second Ridicus is basically panicking, just holding on the breath, just like cat having a furball, but holding its breath. Um, you might not caught with your strength saving throw. Twelve. Twelve. Um, unfortunately, you take nine 14, points of. 13. Uh, still, unfortunately, you take nine points of damage as you get uh, the the flow frozen to some jagged rocks on the side of this tunnel. Yeah. Um, and then. As you make your way in the tunnel, you're into open, almost like an um, open, well, it's, it's a lake. And as you come out of this open lake, you begin to float to the surface and you see uh, uh, sil- silhouettes of like people um, up there. Um, obviously it is thick ice. Um, I'm just gonna roll for the people. You feel free to do anything in the meantime. Um, as you float, you float up, and you you reach this like bar of ice on this um, almost like a frozen lake. You're underneath the frozen lake, still underwater. Is there any like holes uh, in the ice? There is a couple of holes um, if you swim, which you can swim to. Um, one person's noticed you and's come to sort of investigate, um, and is going to start picking the ice above you. I think I'm basically gonna. I can't really gesture as a shark that easily. Oh no, man, you can like. I want to try and move your fins or something. Like, uh, corral everyone else to go first. As a shark, it probably wouldn't be very appropriate for the shark to jump out the hole first. Whoa! I can stay under the water the longest um, with the my, without yep. running out of breath. That's what I'm trying to say, because I'm breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. Um, that's that's fair. I think. Um, <laughs> Rikers is just gonna make his way to the the hole. Uh, it's almost like doggy paddle, but this is a panther <laughs> trying to doggy paddle to get to the thing. Um, this uh, ice hunter has managed to pick a hole in. Um, this is very cold water, by the way. Um, now there's two holes nearby each other, and you can start climbing out if you wish. Oh, I climb out straight away. Yeah. I think uh, Rune Spark and um, Sephira would as well. I would say everyone would have a level of exhaustion just because it's so cold. Would uh, the shark wouldn't? The shark and wouldn't. Sephira wouldn't because obviously, construct. Um, everyone else would, unfortunately. Okay. That's fine. I look for Bone Carver then. Yep. So uh, Bone Carver's back into the village hall. You can. Um, I'm going to basically do the dramatic entrance of uh, shoot out the hole as a shark and then land as a half orc. Okay, make uh, just make an acrobatics check for fun. <laughs> I'm going to get a natural one, you know I am. But that's why, that's why it's funny. Because <laughs> I keep getting natural ones on the checks that I really want to pass. Well, I didn't get a natural uh, one, great. that's a nine plus three, so that's twelve. Uh, that's okay. I was only looking for a ten, so... Um, so after everyone comes out, you just see this shark jump out the smallest hole you can imagine, <laughs> like like a dolphin jumping out of like <laughs> in a water park, um, form into a human and then land on your feet. It's not the most graceful. Well, I'm impressed that he formed into a human. That seems uh, sorry, a half orc. It <laughs> formed into a half orc. <laughs> that would be an impressive beast form. A humanoid creature is what I meant. <laughs> humanoid half orc, um, and then nimbly lands on their feet um, it's not the most graceful but for an old guy not bad 
Um, oh, oh, golly. Well, I am 67. You're 67. It's old. Um, you eventually managed to find bone cover. Um, uh, just say to him, like, we're back. <laughs> okay, bone cover goes, oh, good. You look uh, really worn. Perhaps him take some rest and we can... We plan to. Uh, we just need to tell you that the dragon has been slain. And, uh, and then you desecrated its corpse. It's muttered under Mar- Marin's breath. <laughs> I, go- I ignore it. And then I just... Bone cover just looks in a direction because he can't hear. And then <laughs> I... Um, I'm just like, we're going to rest up now because we've had a little bit of time. Um, we're going to head off as well after but the rest. Bone cover goes... Oh, thank you very much. You can count as us. Count on us as allies. We can. Is he carrying do- the double the carrying capacity? Double his <laughs> yeah. Car- I dispel enhance ability, so he's now carrying twice as much you, as he can. You're walking very slow. You're like um, like over encumbered on Fallout now. Okay. I. You you can do that. It doesn't really matter. I, no. I, I, <laughs> no. I, gra- I grab some stuff and then I put it in the saddle that. When Lion has, so it's half and half. Uh, okay. I'm ba- basically Marin's, still Marin's, Marin's, though, Marin's, though, Marin's yeah. annoyed, so yeah. he's doing everything he can to make. You just feel like it just got really heavy, really fast. Um, just for sake of brevity, I'll say that you speak to Bone Carver. Um, we can go for a more detailed discussion next session. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and cover anything you want, might want to say or might want to ask or um, anything like that. Um, you make your way into an igloo and you take a um, Full long set rest. up a camp and get ready to take a long rest to recover from um, the ones that have exhaustion, dry off a bit, um, and recoup before. Um, would we the still next. get the benefits of a long rest if I were to basically use Thorn Whip to make thorns poke into Arthur's back throughout the rest? You, you wouldn't, and he wouldn't. And okay. bear in mind, you've got one level of exhaustion, so you would I have. Don't. Oh, have two uh, you don't, so you'd be fine. You'd have. Well, you would get. Uh, um, you'd get one level of exhaustion, which is disadvantage on ability checks. He would get half speed and dis and disadvantage on ability checks. Yeah. Stack. I'm just. I'm just. Oh, if you wake me up, I'll fight you with honor. <laughs> and um, oh, you and, have my dueling ability. Bear in mind, he can. He does have a dueling ability, which means you have until I say we stop. Until we agree, both agree, uh, or I kill yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to think of ways for Murren to be petty that wouldn't actually endanger him because he he is pissed off with both you and your monarch. <laughs> Just because I mean, of the flaws and the. I mean, I mean, well, you can be the, you, you can be like that, and then I'll just remind you, like a pacifist like yourself killed a dragon. <laughs> yes, just saying. and I will pay for those crimes in uh, either in this life or the next. But just because I broke my oath does not mean you should fight. You should treat your d- enemies without honor. I treat it with the most respectful honour. You desecrated its corpse. That as, is not treating they, it with honour. Treating it with honour by the, as they go on this discussion of um, guild honour. Um, no, about the the dangers f- of dragon. F- and and not just, treating it with honour. <laughs> We're trying to sleep, um, <laughs> and I'm going to end the session here just for time. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that session. That dragon battle didn't go as tough as I thought it would. He did have some good moves, but he didn't get a chance to use them because of the. Uh, There's quite a good tactics coming in. So hopefully you enjoyed. Rune Spark didn't take any damage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's amazing. No, neither neither did Heskin. Not Heskin. Heskin's uh, my old one. Yeah, Marin. And neither did Fanon. Although if Marin had taken damage, he probably wouldn't be much less than Marin's full health no, anyway. True. Yeah. <laughs> 18 AC and what 90 something okay. health. Cool. What, you might have, did you enjoy the session or Wong? Sorry. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did. That's good. Arthur. Yeah, all good. Cool. Took 13 damage. Yeah, not too bad. Got natural 20 with the lowest attack. <laughs> yeah, that's quite good. Um, that was quite that was quite a tough one to run. So I was basically running <laughs> five NPCs, a dragon, and a Fanderin. <laughs> and a Fanderin. A, 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 a Fanderin. He's now become. Sentient. Right, so uh, is that the end of the chapter, or is it just? Uh, yeah, it would be. So by the time you, um, so you would, what I will say to for make it easier, you would be level next level up, which is nine, I believe. Nine. Yeah. Um, when? Sorry. Now, well, yeah. well, when you go back to, it should be when you go back to the council. But I would say you level up now, 
um, so we can level up between sessions and just make it a bit easier because the next bit might be more role play anyway. Okay. Um, yep, so they uh, are adventurers have all leveled up. Come to the end of this uh, this chapter. And got some more in store when they head back to the Council of Waterdeep. Um, if you've been liking this uh, D&D series, uh, remember to leave us a like, subscribe. Um, if you are subscribed, please click the bell button so you know the moment our, our new video comes out. And remember to keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages uh, for information um, about upcoming videos or just going on to the gaming world. Um, we have got quite a lot of videos coming out soon. Um, so keep an eye on our, on our channel. And we'll see you next time. Just goodbye from all of us. Bye. See you.